And you run it out a lot, need to get unstuck, so call off When you rub against the wall and you cannot fall, so call off, go off Yes. What I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Sorry, I forgot to unmute us. Oh, what up? Hello? Yeah, no, no, you guys are. <laughs> oh, uh, so. Hello. No, it's okay. It's okay. There's a few things we need to do when you need to sort out. So, like, we're going to quickly. Let me just unmute that and do that. Hello, everyone. Though. Welcome. What up? Sign Sam, where's Lo Fi Boy? I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. First uh, notice you here from Sam. I, 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 I actually do. Thank you so much. You guys are all stars. I'm glad you guys are vibing with it. I, I had a lot of fun with that and a lot of stress making it. But I'm glad it was all worth it to see both you, the cast and you guys enjoy it just as much. All the. Sam, put your thing on again. Yeah, put your thing on again. Put your pug. Right. You so, can do it again. Sometimes you have to. Just okay. click on it again. What's he doing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, it's better now. Deadpan. Oh, deadpan. <laughs> Alright, so we have... Oh, Sam's just cycling through his emotes. Alright, Love Fight Boy is... Love Fight Boy is... Give me some... I'm, right, I'm, I'm... So that's why you guys are doing the recap, because I have to quickly sort out the overlay. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Alright, so... Mm. This is... Oh, no. Oh god, Gosh, get ready to go off. Right, who who, who, who wants uh, who wants to start the recap? So this is is it, you guys doing the you, you guys are doing the whole campaign, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I, okay, on, I'm Jacob. doing it. <laughs> hey guys. Uh so Taz, it opens up at uh a little a little wagon in the middle of the street. There's a noodle clerk there selling his noodle wares, hanging out, being scared. You know how he do. Uh, the party eventually all one by one go and decide to order noodles. There's, uh, there's, there's, there's a lo-fi boy. I didn't forget y'all's names. Lo Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, uh, Valais. Uh, 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 pronouncing uh right. Rocky, uh, Pimera. Lacera. Lacera. They all order noodles, uh, uh, but then the, 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 the wagon itself ends up getting a little bit um, uh, messed with uh, with a group of people that they, the party ends up having to fight. Uh, the wagon driver doesn't want to deal with that. Obviously, he's, he sells noodles. Uh, uh, they, they fight. They end up being like, you know what? We'll hang out. And then they end up traveling over to... A little uh I, I guess it's a tower a, a little like what would what would it be called i forget the the pagoda P pagoda yeah the shrine yeah yeah the shrine um go to, um you go there and that's where they learn of this is about the time as well where they begin to meet they beat time before they leave right they meet time pretty early on yeah, yeah he's in the telephone box was it telephone yeah, he was in the telephone box he's yeah. homeless uh, yeah, they even need time to put the telephone box, and then they they head over to the pagoda, uh, where they learn that some of the children are missing, uh, and then as well as someone's sister. Uh, so they have to end up going and helping uh, find the children. They find the children uh, eventually at this cave, where they meet a lot of um, yokai, uh, which yokai are spirit demons. <laughs> uh, uh, they, they fight the lo-fi... Lo uh, oh, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they fight the lo-fi boy. That's a convenient thing. <laughs> <laughs> they fight the yokai. Uh, they save the children, but on their way out, they learn of a weird rift in the world. 
that they have to then go investigate. They travel uh, back to the pagoda, returning the children, uh, and all agree to go travel together to the city of, uh, what's the city called again? I forget. Isotope. I- Isotope. Isotope. Uh, they head over to Isotope. Uh, this is uh, where they, on their way to Isotope, they pass a city filled with, or like a town filled with a bunch of gold people. Uh, they don't really understand the deal with the gold people. They see a cat there at some point. Uh, but they meet the gold people. They're a little bit freaked out. You know how people do. Uh, they end up meeting a little boy on their journey there and head to the, the city um, where we also, on their... We hmm? also meet like a, a pirate that like, like falls <laughs> oh, from yeah. the sky to the forest. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Rocky just uh, uh, compen- uh, compen- compartmentalized that bit of uh, trauma. Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Rocky, like, you guys have been through a lot. Yeah, uh, they weeks. went through. They <laughs> oh, end up finding a city, uh, or they fight the, the, the dude on a ship that, uh, there's the, the ship that crashed with the parrot. Uh, they end up fighting, um, and getting whooped essentially uh uh and then at the aftermath of that they head back to the city i don't think there's anything i'm forgetting before they actually reach the city it's there no i think that's it yeah okay yeah. Then they, okay then they reach the city uh, on the entrance uh people have to have their like little uh passes to get into the city as well as like magic uh uh, uh license uh permit yeah license um which uh is one of the issues, but not the only issue as to why Rocky can't enter the city, uh, because he is not from uh, the the area. Uh, he's from another another continent uh, or another place, at least uh, outside of uh, Sierra Leone. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, he <laughs> he ends up getting taken to prison uh, due to being a Genasi. Uh, and the rest, I guess, enter the city. But he does give away his, his signature cowboy hat at the end. Uh, and, and I can't remember the rest because I wasn't there. Uh, in who's, jail. Yeah, who's tagging in while jo- Rocky's in jail? Uh, I can tag in, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, God. Uh, we got our licenses in the city. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> That was like an entire time, uh, and um, we found a professor at the like school university uh, to go deal with that whole rip uh, in the world weave that we found that was spreading, uh, and they were very concerned, and they took the Sarah uh, with them to help them um, fix it. Uh, so Lucera left the party, uh, and then we met Time again. He was sleeping in some trash. Um, <laughs> we we, uh, <laughs> we wanted to become part of the Adventurers Guild, uh, Adventurers League. So we had to do like a trial uh, quest. Uh, we had to go fix a haunted house um, of this spirit that drowned inside their house, and we went and. Uh, helped that spirit and Lo got a cool new pick, magic pick uh, mm. for her chamisen out of it and then we watched a festival uh, like from the temple that was helping the spirits leave the city um, and then after that we went into the sewers uh, <laughs> for, for fun um, because there were yokai down there and Lo-Fi wanted to go into the sewers, and we went into the sewers, and Pimera was like, I ain't going in the sewers, so Pimera didn't come with us. Um, And Time did, though, and we saw... Was it it Chimera in the sewers? There was was a big old, very... Yeah, very scary uh, Chimera in the sewers. Time ran off to fight it. Uh, There was also some guards of like undead crystal things <laughs> and uh we ended up going out of the sewers into old Isoto city um which was made of little bakoran houses and 
There was a lot of wild magic, um, Shizeki stones, and we met Kira, uh, who we'd met previously at the temple and didn't get along with, um, apart from Lo, because, you know, she wants to be friends with everyone. Uh, <laughs> almost had a fight. She also had her sister Katsumi with her, and they were looking for the younger sister who we rescued from the cave with the yokai previously, who had been uh, taken by a basket hag. Um, so we went around this little city that was full of old robots uh, that eat yokai, uh, <laughs> as well as yokai. And then we fought the basket hag and got the Kiko, the sister, back and... <laughs> I'm really bad at recaps. Um, <laughs> you're okay, no, you're okay. <laughs> you're doing great, you're doing a really good job. Uh, we fought a basket hag, and then whilst we were fighting the basket hag, we also fought a giant old robot uh, <laughs> in a big cave. There was a conveyor belt. Um, but we did it, we saved the sister, and then we went out, and there was a little cliff with an old statue that represented all the gods uh, in one. and. Um, Loniko met uh, the priest. Um, is her name Hira? Hira you, yeah. Hira you. Um, and there was some fishing, a bit of light hearted fishing. Um, <laughs> it was. And, <laughs> and then Lo, um, Hira helped Lo uh, go to the other world and basically unlock her shaman powers where she met Yuki uh, who is her kai and is a kitsune spirit bonded to her basically um best bean and then after that there was a very long day so they took like a week to just chill out in Isoto do some shopping um bit of retail therapy and um <laughs> Um, very true, <laughs> and during this time, Pimera found a husband who was a famous book author and has gone off to get married. So Pimera has left the party, um, but uh, sent us a uh, captain um, with a ship, Satoshi, with a flying ship, um, which we then got on and went towards uh, to help try and find Rocky. Uh, we also went. To, we were going towards Kasakawa to find Lofi's missing family member, and got attacked on the way by a Tengu, which was honestly very rude. Um, <laughs> and, and then, you know, we arrived. Um, someone do Jailhouse Rocky. Uh, Randall, I'm, I'm Sam. I'm playing Randall. Uh, happy to be here. I'm from the Jailhouse Rocky campaign where. Uh, in which it was Randall meeting Rocky for the first time with a group named, uh, with people Moran, Kano, and Taya. And uh, Rocky was like pulled into this elaborate plan called Escape Plan. It was a big part of the naming process. Appropriately named. Yeah. Uh, in which they all had to pretty much blow up a room and cause as much chaos as possible and then use that to go to an elevator. Uh, unfortunately, not a lot of the crew was able to escape, just Randall and Rocky. Uh, through unfortunate circumstances, Kano was lost to... Shit, what was his name? Sanyi. Sanyi. San yeah. The gold man himself. And uh, then Moran was taken by a betrayal from Taya. She was working with uh, Hirakana all along, the warden of the prison, who... Randall had kind of a weird, like, would they, won't they kind of thing in an alternate dimension. Uh, so it was a really tragic moment when she also was felled by his blade. And uh, then, in uh, dramatic fashion, Randall picked up Rocky and escaped the prison by celest not celestial wings, uh, Spectral wings mm. flying out of a then exploding prison as if it was like the Death Star itself, pretty much. And then uh, they landed on a beach and see oh, something yeah. in the distance, I think. Yeah. You see it coming closer. 
<laughs> with the force of ages. Centuries gone by. Protect us, want to fight. We did the recap. What's, 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 the, what's the next line? What's the next line? Yay. I don't know what even you're saying. I don't even it's know like, what you're talking about. I'm doing yeah. fucking Dino Thunder, you <laughs> asshole. You're doing Dino Thunder? Yes. What the hell? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're singing? Fucking... Was that you singing? No, that was me just <laughs> speaking the lyrics. I watched Dino Thunder, but like the way that you were saying it did not no. come across as no. Dino Thunder. It's disrespect is what that is. That is disrespect, <laughs> Dinosaur Boy. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of new people coming in. I, would it be okay for me? I want to show the intro again. Is that okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. absolutely. I would love to uh, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Your enthusiasm is very horrible. Thank you. It is 22 minutes long. Everybody, you can <laughs> Everyone <laughs> prep yourself. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> we'll see you in a hot second and we'll do the actual intro again properly. We we'll get back. That was just it was the recap. That was that was, that was the pre party. When you rub against the wall and you get off on the car. Oh, you missed it? Yeah. Missed what? Oh, Jason. The Jason. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, do a, we'll do a frame by frame analysis of the intro. Yeah, no. It is worth it. It really is. Uh, not, not to say that you can't. You can. Thank you for the follow. Is it up on the follow. YouTube yet? I will be uploading it to YouTube tonight. So if okay, you want to watch it on repeat. Yeah, if you're not sure yeah. repeat, there's the uh, there's a VOD point YouTube uh, for the playlist of Task. I'll be adding it there so when you know season two comes in. That's where that that'll start kicking in. But yeah, um, if you wanna if you wanna go check the vods out or check out some of my other YouTube content, you can over there. Oh, it took ten years. Of, oh, Sam missed it on. again. Can we play it again? <laughs> oh, sorry. You want me to start again, Sam? It only took ten years off of Kaz's life. You know it, Elvi. You know. It. <laughs> like this uh, is like in One Piece where Luffy uses like second gear and it takes off years of his life. Like this is Kaz in second gear. Gosh. Um, yeah, what? Uh, <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna just change the music and I'm gonna just do this. And we're gonna get into Oh, before we get. To see if it's like battle music. <laughs> oh, actually, that's worth. Yeah, that's worth knowing. So before I in, before we like fully go go and introduce everyone, we're gonna be testing out popcorn. And, well, I say testing popcorn initiative. We've reused it a few times. Uh, we're very fond of it, and so hopefully you'll find that the like, combat is it more enjoyable to watch with us using that now. Um, but before we go into that, Sam West, tell us about yourself and introduce your project for me. Oh, uh, I'm S Man Sam from McClunky Squadron. Over there, we do. Uh, D and D every Friday, for, especially for October, we're planning on doing every single Friday this month because it's all spooky themed. So we want to get as much done as possible. Uh, we also do things like talk shows. We talk about a lot of shows right now, almost too much to go into, like House of the Dragon and Star Wars stuff, Marvel stuff, that kind of thing, uh, and gaming stuff. So that's what we do over there. McClunky. 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 What about you, Jacob? Uh, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob. Uh, I run a podcast called Just Very Mundane with my good friend, Sauger. Uh, we talk about just very mundane things in just very mundane ways. Uh, it's an advice podcast and opinion podcast, stuff like that. Nothing, I'm sure, uh, you haven't. Nothing that'll shock you, I guess, when you listen to it. But it's hilarious because I'm and my roommate are the funniest people alive. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, <let me> just... <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you for the hydrate, Asher. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, obviously, just joking. Um, <laughs> yeah. but it, uh, it's a really fun, uh, podcast to make. I don't know. The, the episodes are kind of changing. They haven't been out in a while, but we have some new stuff planned, uh, coming out in the somewhat future. 
I also, uh, and I have the link for this, Kaz, I also am doing a, a card game, a strategy card game uh, called All Hail the Goblin King. Uh, yesterday was the, the last day of the 12 Days of Goblins where we announced, uh, slash, uh, showed the 12 goblins within the game that you can play as. Uh, fun card game. Right now I'm just trying to build support and uh, um, kind of get people to follow it so eventually I can uh, fund it, ideally and put it into people's hands but it's a lot of fun every time i played it with my friends they've all enjoyed it and i hope you too will it does look really cool you should go check that out next is georgia hi i'm lime green archer or lime green artist either one uh sometimes i draw things uh sometimes i draw a lot of the time D, &D things um i also make jewelry some of which are D and D themed, um, or generally sword based uh, <laughs> stuff, because they're cool and I like them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then finally, Sam East. Hello. <laughs> By the... uh, Hello. Oh, sorry, I, just, I feel like we should clarify. Also, uh, his he's meant to sound like that. He's playing a robot. I know, like, I remember, like, I think it was, like, someone mentioned how, like, is Sam's audio fucked in, uh, in session one? It's, it's, it's artistic choice. Yeah, I play a lo-fi boy, this is why I have this voice. Exactly. But when I'm not a robot, um, I'm usually on Discord. Um, I think, um, yeah, like, um, if you want to find me, Join the Discord because that's the only place where I am. Um, and like, come join the art nights and do art things. And... You can hear his normal voice. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> I know what my actual voice sounds like. <laughs> that's the mystery. <laughs> only on Discord. Hmm. <laughs> And yeah, that's everyone. Uh, so we're going to go back into the intro for a second. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> I for was going to say something. I, was gonna, I can't remember what I was going to say. What was I going to say? It's so, season sorry, two. Guys. Yeah, season, welcome to season two. Uh, thank you, Yo, for retweeting at the stream. Um, what was I going to... I guess it's not important, is it? Thank you. And also thank you, Mythical, for hosting as well. I really appreciate that. Um, oh, that's what I want to mention. Uh, there's Channel Point Redemptions. Uh, if you don't already know, uh, where you can interact with the session, you can help or hinder the party. Certain things are. Certain things. Oh, thank you for the positive check, Jacob. Certain things yeah. will, <laughs> uh, will not take in effect at, immediately because some things are going to happen at other points. Um, but yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, layer action, like layer actions. Are are so, like layer, la layer actions. Oh, that's what yeah. I wanted. To no, ask. they layer occur in the layer. Yeah, exactly. They occur where it's relevant, not just out in the open. Uh, before we continue, though, I want to ask a Lo-Fi boy. Hey. Does Lo-Fi trust Randall? <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. Yeah, well, he does. Like, out of character, like not no, in no, no. gaming, but like I think with. Uh, Lo-Fi Boy's character goes with his confrontation with Kira. It is only logical to think that, like, he's a more open, uh, forged being, uh, seeing that, like, maybe there's more to just first appearances and first, uh, impressions, and, like, he, before he's gonna draw his blade, he's going to be, uh, not raging, um, uh, but listening. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I've noted down. So yeah, that's. I've noted it down. At the end of the stream, we will uh, get a verdict, and then that's when we'll reveal the. Uh, oh, the who, yeah, the predictions. Who gets uh, <laughs> who gets the channel point at the end of that? Uh, and we will also at the midway point, we'll be announcing the winners of the uh, task poster challenge to, uh, of 2022. Uh, it will be a uh, dice roll. 
um, from all the entries I've uh, entered. I will try quickly compile a list and show you guys all the entries because there are some stunning stuff. Thank you for the hydrate, Sammy. There's some stunning stuff that have come out. You're going to have me finish <laughs> my coke before we, like... <laughs> yeah. I mean, started, yeah. this, is like the beginning of, this is really like the beginning of a movie where I'm like, finish my popcorn and my drink by the trailers, and I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> you know, you hinder away, Effie. Um, so yeah, there's predictions, and there's going to be post-challenge uh, announcement, so I will sort that at the... just as we come back from our break. Uh, and I will also be giving away a copy of Radiant Citadel. Um... I said I was going to do that. I'm just keeping a name of lists now for this. Actually, no. Yeah, no, I'm going to keep. Yeah, I, I'm going to keep a list of everyone who's uh, in chat and partaking in the stream. Uh, and at the end of the stream, I will be announcing who wins uh, the giveaway with that. Um, mainly because I don't like the giveaway command Nightbot does. And I feel this. This way I can actually keep on track of it myself, though. Um, yeah. Thank you for and uh, thank you for being here. Uh, we're gonna go straight into things uh, after forty minutes of dawdling. <laughs> so let's me just change the music. It's happening. It's happening. We're, we're, fi we're finally back into it. There we are, and then. <clears throat> I'm gonna move you guys over. Oh, shit, it's Sweet. happening. <laughs> He's already started crying. He's already started crying. <laughs> oh no! Right, let's move you over to the world map. Down here. Oh, they, they cry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, after. Uh, after. <laughs> Alright. So. In the wake of the explosion of um, one of the mountains of Kasakawa, the most central mountain, uh, Lo and Lo Fi Boy find themselves docking on the shores of the eastern uh, of eastern Kasakawa Island on a sandy beach flecked with pebbles, shells, and dotted along the coastline are uh, platforms of black stone that have eroded and smoothed away, covered in barnacles and um, and just sea uh, or not sea. Um, like beach grass and as like and like the, like with the, these platforms like have like steps are going up to them and like these just dot the entire coastline uh, you can see on uh, up to the north um, the lip of a river uh, that comes from the mountains at the harbor and carrying debris from the explosion that had happened moments ago a uh, chunks of metal and stone drift out out to the open ocean as the smell of co burning coal mixes with this uh the salty uh brine of the sea um and as like you guys are just catching uh like getting getting a hold of yourselves as you guys are just having just finished um bracing yourself from the shaking of uh the world as the mountain exploded um you can smell a from the north uh west the smell of oranges and lavender drift on a chilly breeze with a thick clawing smell of smoky incense that just permeates around you um, and just lingers on the beach um, as you guys can hear the waves crash gently around you on the shore um, the as the sun is uh, as the moon begins to crawl up the, uh, up the sky as stars start twinkling in between the pinks and reds and the blues you guys can see uh, just above you and um, the mountains ahead a green hue of, and purple clouds um, that just like they as if they were trying to stick around the mountains like an aura um separated from the rest of the sky where the clouds have also like the clouds that aren't on the near the mountain have parted and um uh revealing a uh, generally clear sky um as when you guys uh, get a glance at the mountain you can see small white fires burning uh from the debris um as and red, uh, not red lighting, sorry, white lightning just spark and flare every now and then. As you can hear through the distance and on the um, on the what's it called? On the give me a second through like the distance and the sound of the waves crashing, you can hear a strange, distorted, just 
glitching us that you are aware it's you you recognize it as like that of yokai um degenerating and um withering away and disintegrating into nothingness uh, where are we and while over by uh, that lip of the river, covered in soot and exhausted as they um, thud and land on the beach, uh, with clothes torn, singed, and cut and drenched in sweat, uh, the airs of freedom fill the lungs of Rocky and Randall. As you can hear the voices of Low and Lo, uh, Lo Fi Boy and Low Nico calling out to Rocky. Um, as you guys make your way closer towards uh, the Earth Jassy and the Dragonborn, you, that smell of orange, lavender, and shrine incense grows thicker, and it almost feels like an aura that surrounds them too, uh, as they make their way, um, or as they have uh, landed. Uh, Randall is like uh, hearing these voices calling out, like, like, and landing is still in a mindset of fear and stuff, so. Uh, he, he's trying to get up. He's pretty much like, Rocky, we, we need to go. They're still after us. They must have no. sent someone after us. I, I just, just wait a second. Just, uh, Rocky doesn't really like, he's not really sure what, if he can fully believe that it's, uh, his friend's voice and it's been a minute since he's heard them. Uh, he's not really, and he is like, like Randall is kind of like distressed and still on edge. So he's not. He hasn't yet figured out, but he's just like, he just wants to take a second to kind of like, just Randall was just, I, I, I think they, they, they sound familiar. What do you mean familiar? <laughs> are we still on the boat or like? No, you guys are on the beach now making your way. Okay, because Lo, Lo would just be running. Like, <laughs> do I see them yet? Yeah, you, you, you can see them. You can hear their voice, and like they're just coming from the um, along the coastline. Okay, we didn't hear that part of the conversation. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that's on me. No, okay. No yeah, you guys are making Lo is way. just you guys like yeah. Lo Satoshi is running is as fast as she it. can towards <laughs> Rocky and Randall. I, uh, but there is not a lot of people that. That have a robotic tone to their uh, to their voice. <laughs> Hold on one second, Randall. Uh, Rocky starts kind of like approaching. Do I see? Can I clearly see that's them, or do I just see people running towards me? Yes, you do. And behind them, you can see a <laughs> like as like you see Low Nico running towards you, and you can see uh, Low Fi Boy uh, making his way. You like yeah, you their silhouettes are very distinct to you. But you also see a oh. third figure behind them. You don't, you don't, re you don't recognize this figure, um, of a person in a long, not long, sorry, in a leather like coat and a scarf with uh, the um, trailing off in the wind, with hair that looks like crashing waves, um, following behind. Oh, As okay. You, uh... As like they're just huh? calling out for uh, low and low level to slow down, as they're uh, just uh, making chase as well, but not in an apprehensive way, but in more so in just like, yeah. There's I uh, catch up. Rocky like clears his eyes from the tears that have been in them for the past uh, several hours. Uh, <laughs> from the heart, he's like, Randall, I think. Rocky starts sprinting uh, on, along the beach. Um, Lo-Fi? Lo-Nico? <laughs> the Lonies? <Hi. laughs> Why are you here? As, uh -oh. the... as soon as Lo gets close enough, she's just gonna launch herself at Rocky and just give him a hug. <laughs> Rocky hugs her back. <laughs> uh, what, what? Is this some... Is this isn't like... Is this, is this some type of I feel like I might be being bamboozled right now I'll be honest with you <laughs> yeah I will say Rocky you're with, okay 
with the way the sky is a strange green to the um towards the mainland but then a like the the a beautiful horizon to out to the sea it does feel very dreamlike in this uh weird state and time very much feels like it's frozen in place it's really weird you know i had a i had a dream once for uh I was a bunch of different people, uh, or a bunch of different <laughs> people were me, and I, I, well, I don't know. This feels more surreal than that, I'll be honest. <laughs> what? But is it y'all? It... I, I reached the hug, uh, to hug uh, Lo-Fi Boy as well. Uh, we're both <laughs> actually here. Y'all. Yeah, yeah, that's the only difference. Uh... <laughs> Well, yeah. We, we, you were taken away. We had no leads. We we were so worried. Y'all yeah, don't want to. I don't even know how to begin with what's happening with me. Who is the the bloke, uh, the blue bloke behind you? Oh, uh. They you see them stand very awkwardly. They look at Randall's <laughs> like, uh, like like uh, almost, like. Rocky goes up the head nod <laughs> for a hug for him too. Oh. <laughs> they come, to hug the, the they come in and they just uh, give you a little pat on the shoulder. Uh, hello, um, I, I am I'm Captain Satoshi. I nice uh, to meet you, Cap. Nice. nice to, speaking of uh, speaking of uh, people, uh, where are my manners? Uh, this is my 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 dragon friend, Randy. <laughs> oh, Randy. Hello. Yeah. I am... My name is Randall, <laughs> yeah. It's, and Randy's what Rocky started calling me, but Randall Sidio is the name. Oh, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Randall. Oh, there's a, there's Randy Sidio? Randy. Where's that? Oh, you're getting, it's going to be a lot of this, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, because his, his hat's been down, but, like, his hat is going to, like, be pulled down even further. He's just like, no. Because <laughs> he, too, oh. is pretty emotional right now. Coughing so, occasionally from like smoke in his lungs. Mm. Are you alright? What do you do? You need <laughs> help? Do you, uh... I, I'm fine. Big explosion! Did you guys see it? Yeah, we were uh, involved in it. Uh... <laughs> what? Rocky, what happened? It's we, really we a long We had no idea where you were. Free. Randall just hey. like walks away into the ocean a little bit, like just with his feet, and just doesn't acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. that, looks like, uh, that looked like a pretty big explosion to be involved with it in. But listen, I, I can. I'll. Right, yeah. Or as good as we're going to be right now. Uh, I'll have to. I can't. I'm not going to go into all the details right now, but it's been a. It's been a tough. Uh, tough time. That's yeah, for sure. We've had those too. I, I can't yeah. understand you guys needing time to process everything. Where's a. Where are the others? Uh, Hello, it's just kind of going to look over at Lo-Fi Boy and... <laughs> like, well, um... Uh, well, it's Captain Satoshi who was actually sent to us by uh, Miss Pimera. She She's actually uh, married uh, now. Um, oh, Mazel so... Tov, I guess? <laughs> Satoshi so, uh... Yes, to Mr. Sayer. <laughs> yes, uh, she got married to an author, actually. Um, and Lucera, she, well, we found a professor to help with, uh, you know, the, the grip in, in the world weave. Um, yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, but I think, I think it's fixed now. She's going to look over a loaf of ways. I think they, they fixed it. Um, but Lucera had to go with the professor to, oh, wow. to help them. That's a great, great, uh, great news that they're doing, uh, that they're, they're doing great out there. Oh, oh, uh, you know, okay. Like, yeah. she was one of the girls in the... We got kind of in a fight with her and her sister. We met her, we met them again, and I guess we made amends, so, like, if we see them again, um, uh, we shouldn't, like, I don't know, they're, they're really nice people, actually. But... I think, uh, life's too short to, to bicker with people nowadays. Mm. I'll be honest. <laughs> Uh, well, I did try to tell him, Mr. Rocky. I know, but like, I... I Knock was... off with the Mr., please. Uh. 
I don't need to feel as old as I've aged, you know? <laughs> you really are you, Rocky. Oh, we could... I need... I need... I just need to relax for a moment. I need... I need food. I, I need something. I don't know if y'all have... Uh... Uh, uh Captain? Mm -hmm. Maybe a pie, if you have a pie. Yes. Do we have... We... Spaghetti, maybe? Yeah, we should, we should... We should have... We should have some... Some, some some spaghetti. Some, some spaghetti. Yes, of course. Come, uh, let's head back to the, red the best day of my life. All right, <laughs> uh, Randy. It's a. Uh... Oh, and like... there's a shower too, right? There's a yes, shower. There is a shower. Uh... Yes. Okay, while they're talking about that, I'm just gonna walk next to Randall <laughs> and just give a pat on his shoulder and nod, like, and then look out into the sea as he's doing and not say anything. I guess I'll be coming with you then. If you'll have so. me. Come. I mean, there's, there's, sure. there should be room. So oh, sorry, you sorry. Very quiet, though. I, I just want to make sure you're you're okay. I just don't want to bring any problems to you. More than I already have to Rocky. Well, I can't imagine like what happened, but you brought him here, so... I guess well, hopefully I can right. get him farther. I, I've had a funny encounter throughout my life. I think... I know sometimes things are really tough, and you feel like you mess everything up, but sometimes, you know, when you see that there's still some cool people around you, and then I turn to, like, them having the conversation about eating, like, spaghetti or pie or whatever. <laughs> like, sometimes, you know, there's still proof that not everything is messed up, you know? When you, when you keep losing people as I have, it's hard to look at this and feel safe. I just fear that coming with you guys will almost be a curse. I mean, might as well live through this curse together than by ourselves, right? If you'll have me, I'll come. Lofi, Randall, come on! As Satoshi has already made their way back to the Red Laker, a few paces away, Spaghetti. Um. <laughs> Spaghetti. Rand Randall like pull pulls up his hat a little bit more so you can see him, his eyes, and they are like he is crying, but he's he's fine with showing it. So. Uh, I mean, lo fi boys have been crying as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're all crying. Yeah. When you guys reach the Red Lake, um, Rocky and Randall, you just see it's like a boat uh this huge well not huge it's like it's it's not the biggest it's but it's not it's like it, it looks like a cozy boat um or airship boat as you can see like under the um the bottom of i don't know what you'd call that it's like a lot it's mixed with a lot of uh, mechanic uh, mechanical part um and just machinery to create like legs almost of that like a um of a crane and also just to hold the various propellers and these four towers that uh, build the site of the um, the ship. Uh, so I am going to go, uh, put you guys onto this for a second as you guys... And you can see like there's onto the, the deck there is a... Um, there's a what's it called? Um, there's just a plank that's just been put down so you guys can make your way. It's, it's very makeshift. Uh, it looks like this wasn't designed to have like a um, exit and entrance. Uh, it was more so like to dock at an airport than like on like uh, a, um, a, a platform below it. Um, as you guys make your way onto the deck, um, Satoshi just begins giving you a tour. Um, I'm going to put you guys over here.
I mean, this is a pretty nifty ship, that's for sure. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Saya is has been very kind to uh, to gift it to me, and as I uh, as I help um, Miss Pymera's associates. There, there might be a bit of damage from. Uh, oh yes. Some uh, of the battles we went through. We, through. I mean, yeah. We had we Ooh. had a very tumultuous time uh, fighting off a uh, a Tengu. Um, ignore the damage. We're hopefully gonna have that repaired when we next. Yeah, like over there, and I point at like the tower. Yeah, like, one of the ta where? this the furthest back on the right side, uh, that tower, like the top half of it, is just caved in, and like the tiling oh. on like the uh, upmost roof and the layer below have like fallen apart, and you can just see it's oh. like not crumbling, but like the top half of it is just uh, in in tatters. That's just a part of going on the. Uh... The seas and the skies, I guess. I have more experience on the on the seas, so. I see. I flew a, an airship once, but it didn't go so well at the end. Oh. I'll fully admit that. Well, we'll have to. But he is good at flying, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that was that was you that we saw. Interesting. Yeah, you're the fly guy. <laughs> Maybe. Well, uh, we'll have I to. Blush. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to talk about that over over spaghetti then, I think. But come, let, let me. Man, you're speaking my language, that's for sure. Come, let's to the kitchen. As right. um, he guide, uh, sorry, they guide you um to the floor below, which is on a is there's a hatch behind the um the deck. Um, this is a raised platform. There's no like you can just see splinters and like just damaged furniture and like water damage, um and like bits of frost, uh, still like are uh, on uh, some of the planks. Uh, on the uh, race platform but when you guys go on into the hatch and down the stairs into the kitchen over here you can see he's uh very cozy and like that pantry is and you can see like labeled pots and uh barrels around the uh this area with um as a smell like flour and just pantry smells uh onions and um garlic just fill your nose amongst a few spices here and there and you can see through a fireplace into a cozy looking uh, common room. As um, Satoshi begins, starts looking through a few of the barrels. If you, you want to look around, um, Lo, uh, Lo-Fi, if you would like to uh, show show them to show them around, I, I can sort the spaghetti out. Oh, uh, uh, yes. uh, right. Sorry, it rocky, and I turned rocky, and I just touched it. You're actually here. Um, yeah. I, uh, are you, um, it's just, were you okay all this time? Like, because at night, I just, Thank when you. people were sleeping, I couldn't help but think each time, like, if you were... I don't know, because you were just taken away, and, like, if you were alright, or not, did you I went, uh, I went through a rough patch, that's for sure, uh, but I'll be fine. But, uh, how are y'all? Y'all, y'all taken care of? I mean, you have your nice ship. See, y'all definitely went through a lot of turmoil, but it gives the ship character, that's for sure. Concerning things we've come across, but they're they're quite literally bigger than us. I was just gonna put her a hand on Lofi's arm. Uh, I just like we'll have plenty of time to talk about this. I'm sure they'll yeah. once they get cleaned up and have some right. food first. Come on, right, uh, right. we can show them where the shower is and the rooms, although one of them's out of commission now. But yes. we'll get you the rest. Yeah. I'm gonna walk over to Randall real quick. Randall's just oh, looking oh, into oh, the fire. Another thing, another thing. Uh, Randall, yeah. uh, you too. Uh, <laughs> sometimes Satoshi is really cool. Uh, they they can like slide down the the how do you call them the 
the things you climb the on. Ladder? Oh, ladders. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, and, but, like, I tried it and I hurt myself. So, you know, be careful with the ladders. That, that's what I wanted to say. All right. Hear that, Randall? Cause our biggest worry right now is the ladders are eating some spaghetti. So, uh, hell yeah, I say man. We, we go do that. <laughs> Look, before, uh, before, uh, going and following, Randall, like, looks into the fire deeply and, like, kicks the side of it lightly and then follows. Well, I was just gonna, like, I guess show them where the shower is first. Mm -hmm. That is onto the net floor below. Is that these stairs? Uh, the, uh, the hatch. The stairs go the up, hatch. the hatch goes ah. down. Yeah. To the hatch. <laughs> and you guys can go <laughs> Very ominous over here. <laughs> you guys can go Like, you just see Satoshi just starts cutting a few onions and smashing some garlic. Um, and begins boiling some pasta in the fireplace. That's as you like make your way down. <laughs> 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 No, oh my god, Sam. <laughs> um, yeah, just gonna, are, we, gonna... are, we, are we over here now? Yeah, yeah. you guys, you guys, oh, that's it. So you can hear this machine just whirring and going and steam billowing off every now and then. Creating a very misty uh, space. Ooh. Like a sauna in here. <laughs> Come on, uh... I hope you didn't supply the hot rock because I brought them myself. <laughs> Give yourself inspiration. Ella's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just gonna like, the... here's the bathroom and the shower. Oh, and How do you the... put two dragons on? Oh, ding dong. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> Sorry, go on, go on. Yeah, let's just show them, show them around, basically. Um, like it. The washing machine? What is this? <laughs> there is a washing yeah, machine. So that's a shower. <laughs> that's the washing machine. <laughs> Okay. And yeah, like, fancy. And this is going to be very of, handy. My clothes stink. It smells like prison. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys. Like... My jazz <laughs> album. Really working on it. Prison. Orange, lavender, and a bit of sandal. Prison. The hit album by. The debut album by La Rocky and Randall. Featuring Pablo <laughs> and Lonico. We got prison blues going. Let's go. Yeah. Our uh, our band name is actually called uh, R and R. Just gonna. Oh, that's good. I like that. Dude, that is good. <laughs> Write that one down. Write that one down, Rocky. Actually, can I you just play an instrument? Into my arm. <laughs> uh, I can play uh, katana. Is that basically? <laughs> I don't I think. think uh, you know what? We'll worry about this later. We could do some. If you guys have uh, a hurdy gurdy around. I can actually play that. So. Hey, please you. never say that again. What in the world would you say to me? <laughs> hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Never played a hurdy gurdy. I've never heard of a hurdy gurdy. I'll be honest with you. All right, it's a very popular item on the seas, so maybe, maybe right. we should go out there sometime. You... A song of thieves, some would say. Out on the sea. <laughs> yes. Out on um, the sea. As I'll show well, you a hurdy gurdy. Song. Hurdy gurdy. <laughs> What we'll do is we'll we'll do a quick little uh, skip of you guys having your, like you 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 guys would have had your showers. Satoshi preparing spaghetti. You can see uh, Lofi right. and Lonika when you guys do uh, when you guys all make your way back up to uh, to the kitchen. You can see them preparing like um, like a picnic basket of the spaghetti. <laughs> and I th I th I, th I thought it'd be nice to have uh, eat on the beach. I think that would be nice. Sure, I think I go this way. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah, no, you guys are free range. So, like, if like you wanted to move through uh, the <laughs> ship, you're free. <laughs> so, except free for range Sam meat for sale. Yeah, Sam, Sam <laughs> free range. Chicken. This is oh, 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 no, Nico. What is this room? Wait, how long is left That's the before the spaghetti is ready and everything? Oh, um, I mean, it's we could, like it, it, it could it could be ready right now if you want it. Uh, like with a, with a al dente, if you want a bit softer, we can just like. You can no, let no, it no, sit no, in its pot. Let's do the best. Ready to go. Way. Yeah, it's, it's okay. ready to go. We'll, we'll, let's, 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 we can head out onto the beach and uh, we can we can eat under. Now, Wait, I, Randall's oh. in the rec room. Uh, I'm, I'm just admiring of, uh, the new little nook. 
I don't know how the how how uh, how well it would work, but have we ever considered a pool table in the rec room? Just gonna throw that out there. I got pretty good in my time in prison. Uh, I could probably. I, I we could sort. Some... We could have a new pool table while we're while we're in um, while we're ducking. Man, this is some... nice. Thank you, <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sayer has a uh, a very fine eye for for interior design. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're kicking lo-fi boy's ass. And so told she just starts busting out some sick ass karate moves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm glad to know we're safe as well. <laughs> but he doesn't. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm like, I'm right at that. Whoa, what's rolling? What's whoa, rolling? Whoa! <laughs> Alright, I'll what? give you some room. <laughs> so Toshi multitasking. I wanted no part in this. I need to make a note of Toshi multitasking. Right, that's funny. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you guys can make your way if you guys want to. Do you guys want to. Are you okay? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> what did you I see? Also... Are you okay? No, 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 no. Just, I can eat now. That's the new thing. Uh, oh, oh. oh. The, I got an operation and my, my composter has been updated and now I can eat. Oh, the... that's sick, dude. <laughs> so yeah, that's that, was the, that was the time I want to ask, actually. What? What are you? <laughs> Where does he don't ask that? <laughs> so you can't ask that, man. <laughs> well, he just said he has a composter. I've, I don't know what that could possibly mean. I mean... Uh, my stomach. I, initially... You know, that's a conversation we can have as we're eating outside. I, I know if it's an appropriate answer until then. Are you uh, sure? It sounds like it could be rather disgusting. I don't know. Like, maybe it could be, you know, not... I... As you guys are having this conversation, no, 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 no. Satoshi has already made their way off the ship. I will not. Can I? Can I go out? Captain, wait. Um, are there any like dry sticks on the beach or yeah. anything? There's, there's uh, every like near the um, obviously out like closer to the inland than out, uh, but there are a few uh, dry sticks and twigs here and there of driftwood. Can I collect a few and like make? A small little campfire. Okay. On the, As... on the wooden ship, we're making a campfire. No. <laughs> on the beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> As I'm gonna move over to I've you. already set the ship on fire. Oh, yeah. oh no. How's the oh, map? No. What's wrong? Sorry. Sorry. Wrong? My my uh my roll twenty just unloaded. So one second. Oh, is it you that drew the big square? <laughs> I thought we were gonna draw the beach. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna yeah. destroy it. Yeah, remove from existence. Yeah, you guys. Um, Oops. You guys can see like like there's like platforms that lead up. As like you guys see the tide begin to start like it is every now and then creeping closer and closer as the waves begin to start getting a bit louder and okay. wilder. Just 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 a tidge. Uh, as Satoshi okay. starts making his way up the. Um, through this little, little are you are you making a netball like fucking <laughs> it's a picnic blanket let's play some volleyball yeah, this is uh what what is what is that game dead or alive beach volleyball let's go Gosh. no no one ever played okay never mind i never okay. played that was an arcade machine that was back in uh the prison <laughs> oh i missed that one <laughs> i'm not i surprised. was very you proficient at it yeah Honestly, Lo-Fi Boy, this was a Rocky? Why was I crying then? <laughs> this was a pretty this was a pretty decent prison. I mean they were doing some pretty messed up things. things. Oh. It was fun. <laughs> In the yeah. background there was some evil, but you know. When is there not, really? Also, I'd like to say that maybe we make this a, a quick lunch because we are we did just you know, get out of prison and it exploded. Maybe they're gonna be sending some people. Like, that's yes. I mean, it exploded pretty big. But I, actually, yeah, that's a good point. You, when you turn <laughs> to look at the mountain, you can just see this huge crater 
and a missing mountain. <laughs> I feel as though there'd still be, like, you know, that it'd be a pretty big deal. Mountain. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Other I, people uh... will be coming. There are airships, right? There are airships, as you guys had just been on one, yes. There are. Yeah, like, <laughs> so, like, I'm should pretty scared. We have a picnic and, and wait a, a better time for it, then? It's we just, can like, have a little eat. bit of a picnic, but, like, can we eat and dash? Okay. Dine and dash, you know? Oh, uh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll make it quick about what am I um, at the same time. So, uh, Sorry, I'm a little nervous. No, it's okay. Oh, the fun thing with my composter is that I can eat and talk at the same time because there's different, like, uh, things. Like, Should I not like to fire, like, Mr. Like, and, 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 like, I can still speak, it's just, it, like, it doesn't change much. <laughs> when you start doing the that, low Nico, you feel, from the center point of your mask, you feel Yuki leap out. And then jump onto a lo-fi boy's head. Hello. Uh, what in the world? You can't see. <laughs> what? Uh, you, can't, you guys can't see Yuki. Only Loniko can see him. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. My mistake. No reaction. <laughs> and they just look down at lo-fi boy. And just start stomping uh, on his head. If you wanted to start a fire, though, I mean, like, if, if anything that we want to prepare requires a fire, then yeah, let's let's get that done. But it'll be a, a little quickie one. Okay, and she's just gonna put down the sticks she's collected and like the lighter fire in her hand and light the campfire. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me just do well this. Well done, well done. So, yeah, um, I found that uh, basically. Uh, not sure if I died, but I used <laughs> to not have plants inside of me, and now I do. <laughs> and we looked, we did some operations to see when I ate a bio ghost spirit of a food and that like made it be inside of me. Oh, 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 when we looked at other creatures that were similar to me that seemed to be powered by yokai, um, I'm not one of those. Um, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have like this, like, like, uh, similar to this, like these Shiseki stones and I show like the different like the shatter shiseki stone and the blooming one whatever and i'm like uh so i have like one like this but kind of like multicolored and a bit more unpredictable probably wild magic uh related really and yeah that's what i am and as to how i live and function and everything seems to be tied to that mostly but Oh, and so it's keeping you alive? I, I just... <laughs> I don't remember how my configurations were before as to my internal workings because I wasn't made to be aware too much about that. I guess things kind of just changed when... Well, when the incident happened and everyone around me died and and then I came back, and then... With, yeah, uh, with I'm what here. you're saying, are you, are you are you the plant, or are you the person still? Uh, it's a good question, Satoshi so Pipes up. As they're serving spaghetti and Alfredo sauce to everyone. Deep discussions. <laughs> I, I think I'm... Thank you. I, I, yeah. I wouldn't know, but it's like... The way I see it is like, are you yourself, or are you your body? You know, when other creatures consume what is around them to create what they are, do they still remain themselves, or are they just, like, yeah, it's it's a hard one. I, I wouldn't know. Well, I'm 90% rock, 10% spaghetti myself. <laughs> That's a lot of spaghetti. Yeah. I don't want to check that out. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> it's just the brain, right? That's what you think. That because it looks like spaghetti. I'll give you that. If you mash a bunch of spaghetti together, it looks like brain. Yeah, my brain is spaghetti. Uh, I can't, Makes oh, sense. Oh, oh, That's oh, a big oh, brain. Should we, should we actually? Uh, 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 and like, I start like uh, speaking in, in words that sound like very uh, like like trees swaying and stuff. So, like, 
What's your, what's your friend doing? What's he doing? What? <laughs> this is new. I, I don't know about this. Yeah, I'm not a facial either. <laughs> He's just lost his mind. <laughs> then what is he doing? <laughs> Take that spaghetti away from him. He's gone crazy. I think he's just gonna like her yes. mask up just enough to eat spaghetti. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm using the speech of leaf to, to talk to my plants uh, to ask them if they're me or if they're a separate entity or if we are one. Oh, thanks. Fires in the middle of the picnic. I realize as soon as I like put it down, I go, oh, no. I'll put it over here. Where's Raph when you need it? Oh, gosh. But yeah, um, as you're asking Lo Fi Boy these questions, as, and eating the spaghetti, it's a, it's a simple, Crunch. um, <laughs> it's a very simple, uh, Alfredo, uh, sauce, um, having been very quickly made in like the short time you guys had your shower. You notice, um, Lo-Fi and, well, Randall and Rocky, in the moments of eating, and like, in, like, the stillness when Lo-Fi Boy isn't talking or swaying like a, like a tree, <coughs> or sound like a swaying tree, <laughs> you, you can, if, it's, it's a very serene stillness, um, but you feel this, and you, you, you can, the smell of, Wait, it is it's Alfredo sauce, right? Isn't that the sauce? Marinara, usually, but uh. No, Alfredo's the white sauce. Yeah, yeah Alfredo's the white sauce. sauce. Yeah, but sauce. for spaghetti, I would do like marinara. <laughs> do you? But this is Alfredo sauce. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, but I mean, yeah, yeah, typically, but I'm I'm fine with Alfredo on my spaghetti. I'm, I'll I'll survive. You're like, yeah, uh, this is, <laughs> we're also in <laughs> fantasy, <laughs> fantasy universe, fantasy universe. This is Alfredo spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah, it's Alfredo spaghetti. You're thinking of fettuccine. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> Everyone out here. It's, it's sure. just like the fire. Um, but as like you guys are. Uh... Oh. Oh, hello. What's wrong, Sam? You went robot for a second. You went low five for a second. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay now, I think. But yeah, you you were channeling low fi boy. I yeah. I saw an OBS go red for a second. Oh boy. Um, but you see in. You feel that smell of. <laughs> what? What's so funny? What's the what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just like, too much to handle. Like, what kind of a concept is that? Oh, God. It's, oh, it's, the stream. It's a, oh. Oh, oh, the no. stream. What's happening? Oh, what's oh. happening? It should be fine now. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Whoa. Oh, oh, we it is it it's, it's, we want <laughs> it's turning into low boy. This is what happens when we expect a crisis into Mr. Low Randall, Boy. Mr. <laughs> Randall, I don't feel so stream. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, crunch. Just like the spaghetti. Crunch. Just like the spaghetti. Crunchy spaghetti. Just like Satoshi <laughs> used to make. <laughs> <laughs> so funny dude but as you oh, are you eating your spaghetti and like I you <laughs> you the smell of lavender and orange and sandalwood clings to you along with the smell of smoke and you feel like you are constantly just you feel this like smoky um the smoke just within your lungs and you can't like every time even for every cough you make it just sticks uh from within but other than that, the food's delicious. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just seeing, I'm just those seeing those something that I think is. When I ask them if they're me or something different, or... What you say again? Sorry. Like, when I ask the plants, like, um, if they are a separate entity, or if they're just part of me, or if they... If we are one or separate, like... What is like? What do they say? It's like, m like, like, flex my arm, my right arm for like, yes, separate, and like, no, we are one, the left one. Your left arm flexes. Okay. As... Yeah, so I just asked my plants, and they said we're one, so we're, we're, we should be, yeah. 
As you, All right, so awesome. <laughs> as you're eating, uh, Lone, you see Yuki just circle around Lo Fi Boy. And just stare at his bowl and then him. And then his bowl again. Oh, this isn't um... garbage. Get him some driftwood. Get him, get him like a bit of litter or something. Surely there's something in the ocean. Surely. Oh. Um... Lo Nico, he's starving. <laughs> Help him! No, no, Yuki, Yuki, it's okay. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gave up so quickly. <laughs> As you speak, are, are, are speaking, speaking. You hear Lo Nico speaking. Yeah, okay. Okay. Was, who are you talking to? <laughs> yeah, what's Yuki doing this time? Oh, um, well, uh, he, it's a. Uh, you see, um, Ricky Randall, I, I became a shaman. I am a fire shaman. And wow. when I became a shaman, I um, bonded with a kitsune spirit named Yuki. Uh, uh, they are my kai. Uh, we are bonded by blood. Um, uh, Yuki! <laughs> As they get very uh, close to Rocky. Hello, Hey Rachmai. there! Oh, he and goes to shake his normal. Head. You can't, you, you, I... it doesn't speak, you can't see or hear it. But like, it's just... Uh, Lo, you see just reaching his, uh, 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 one of his paws to shake uh, Rocky's hand. Why isn't he shaking Where is my hand, now? Lo Nico? He Lo Nico, this is very your hand, Yuki. Is it oh, 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 He goes up into his face. <laughs> I didn't think Yuki what existed you? for a while. I thought it was something different. But I actually saw Yuki just a few hours ago when we were on the boat. Um, and, and Yuki spoke to me, and they're kind of cute, but uh, they look a bit mischievous. I think you mean yes. ridiculously handsome robot man. And it just turns. Like, so maybe, maybe if you guys, like, I don't know. I actually, Lomiko, how would we ever see Yuki in, in any normal situation? No, like, these people need to open their eyes. I, I don't know why you're traveling with these people that need reading glasses or seeing glasses. They're, they're... We should maybe make a quest for the opticians, I think, personally. You saying anything nice, Lonico? Yes. Um... Mr. Rock. <laughs> uh, Yuki, um... Uh... Yuki's not sure. He's not sure? I'm certain. What you... I know. I know. I know. Not sure of what? Oh, uh, why, um, there are certain times, uh, that Lofi was able to see him. I'm not entirely sure either. Hmm. Well, if he wants to be sure, then, uh, he can go to the edge of the beach, that's for sure. <laughs> hmm. And then Yuki just starts cackling. Yuki just starts cackling wildly with laughter. You've never, she's just I, gonna lean over to Rocky Black. I think he liked your joke. I don't I think you've ever know. heard Yuki laugh before, Lo. But yeah. it is hysterics. And it's... <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> it's, it's like that one meme where the fox is like... Yeah. Tee-hee! <laughs> 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 just in Rocky <laughs> Beard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like uh, it. Tell him that there's many more where that came from. Randall Good. like condescendingly like puts his hand out to shake with with like nowhere like not knowing really where <laughs> he's gonna be. So he's like, "Nice to meet you." <laughs> Just like, shaking his hand. You see, Yuki. After like, am I getting it right? After stopping, struggling to laugh, or str struggling to catch his breath. Um, Yuki makes his way towards Brando and then just bites his hand and then shakes it. <laughs> I can't feel that though, right? Or can you I feel you that? You can't feel it. Okay. <laughs> oh, Yuki, that's not um, how you, you're supposed to What's shake. What's it doing? And, um, nothing. I pull, I pull away like, oh, no. <laughs> what kind, oh, nothing what bad. kind of shenanigans are happening? Only the best, it mutters, in your ear, but you don't hear it. Oh, it's, it's nothing bad, Randall. 
Oh, okay, I guess. But I think we shook hands long enough, so I think we're good. Thank you for for trying. After I, I used to have an imaginary friend when I was younger too, so I get it. I was just gonna slump. You like? <sighs> How rude! Your imaginary friend can't do this as the fire just starts cackling green, and then. Please, in... Mr. Randall. <laughs> The what did I do? Brief as a moment, like the fire just erupts. Try not to upset. As you my see, guy. thousands of foxes dancing within the fire, and it swirls very close to you. Okay, yep, you're real. I believe in you. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I thought. I, well, the situation was really. You're, if you're around and can hear me, you're not really making yourself very easy to interact with, so. You seem quite imaginary. You see Yuki pull out their monocle again, hello Nico, <laughs> and pop it on their on their third eye at the top. I only reveal myself to dignified folks as they prance past Satoshi and just start hopping up the rocks onto the highest point and just looking out to the waters. Lou's just gonna chuckle to herself. Hey, Randall, I'm... I actually, I just eat food for fun, I don't need to eat. Uh... <laughs> how much time you guys still are gonna uh, consume? I, I I want to try to fish, like, just one time if, before we leave, if I get the chance. You want to fish right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're next to the water, and last time it was fun. Um... <laughs> Rocky, how are you feeling about that? <laughs> like, what do you... <laughs> well, just, just, well, you guys are finished eating. I'm just gonna be quick. Like, I'm just gonna be right there, like, uh, over next to the water and, and stuff. I... Okay, okay. I'm mean, gonna be right back. Mm -hmm. Yuki, she's gonna cool. Could you, uh, keep an eye on the fly boy, please? Of course. They say very coyly. <laughs> and then leaping <laughs> off the rocks. They're safe. And then Thank prancing you. behind Lo Foyboy. Lo, you hear the sound of footsteps in the sand beside you. Prance and trot oh, beside you. Jeez. You okay? I thought you were saying that like it was other footsteps. Oh. <laughs> I got oh, there we go. Alright, sorry about that. Um, OBS decided to be rude. Um, yeah, let's fish. Lo-fi boy? Hello? Hello? Are you sure? Because I'm seeing the thing as being discussed. Ah! Oh, yeah. Ah, never no, it's mind. Back okay. Again. There's just the delay, I'm sorry. Sam, I think I know uh, when my stream is back up. When OBS, <laughs> when OBS tells yeah, me it's reconnected. <laughs> I'm sorry! No, no, it's, no, it's, okay. not, it's, not, your, sorry. I, it's not your fault. Sorry, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Like, sorry, yeah, no, okay. you are, you're on the other, like, yeah, no, I, I do, I'm sorry, I know, I know, it I know. is on me. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, no worries. You're now with, you're with Yuki and fishing, as uh -huh. you hear splashing in the water, oh, as if where? something's right in front of you, as if something okay. is jumping around playfully in the water, but you can't see it, but you just, um, <laughs> you can just see something very playfully <laughs> jumping through the water. Alright, let's, uh, let's fish. I can't actually remember how this mini game works. I think it was a. I think Carlos like, has it, so I can actually use that. Um, give me a second, I'm just gonna quickly pull up my notes. Uh, for yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. Um, when you guys okay. were eating, by the way, uh, after you guys have finished your spaghetti, you use Satoshi pulls out a few muffins and um, has just starts pouring apple juice for everyone. But then also has a bottle of wine on the side. What? No, thank you right now. <laughs> I'd like to stay clear headed for if anything goes down. How about yourself, Rocky? Oh, fishing? No, no, wine. No, no, no. Wine. Wine? <laughs> uh, I think, uh, I think I'm good. I think I'll pass a little Not bit too early to day drink. It's she puts. It's actually in uh, the setting, like it is turned around 8 p.m. ish now. As, as, too early to day drink. 
<laughs> as soon as you guys finish, I mean, as soon as you guys say no, uh, Satoshi just puts it back away. Good, because I actually don't drink myself. I just, I just, I thought you guys might want to, just in case. Nope. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just looking again. I let me. It should be here. Mom. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Georgia? Uh, Mr. Randall? Yes? You said you were uh, used to being on the sea. Where Where are you from? If you don't mind my asking. Uh, originally from far, far away. I'm from Halagis. It's a continent to the northwest of here, I believe. And uh, I've been sailing the seas for a long while, a good few years of my life now, so... Oh, I speak Caligis. Oh, really? Wow. Mm -hmm. when... who, who, did someone teach you, or how do you know that? When you say that, you can hear a slight accent in her her Shere Leone that like is very similar to those that... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, they're coming for uh, Randall. Yeah, yeah, I told you the cops about. are coming, people. Let's get <laughs> out of here, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, they um, what's it called? You, you can hear a slight accent on her voice. That, like you, you recognize uh, Randall because you also have a very similar tinge to your accent. That like uh, Lone Eagle, you can hear on his voice similar to how, like your your parents uh, speak as well. So oh, are are you from Halagis, sir? Oh, Your parents, I'm, or sorry? I was <laughs> I was born here, but my my parents are immigrants. I they travelled around a lot, but I do believe they're from Halagis. Wow. What 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 did your parents like do there, like before coming here? They mostly travelled. It's actually how they met, and they liked Sherry Lil so much they stayed here. Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, like, I just was sailing around here a lot of my la later part of my life. Halagis was cool and all, but Shreleo was where it's at, I'd say, so. I've never been myself, but. I mean, one day maybe we could sail back. I could show oh, you, uh, lovely. show you your uh, heritage and, and whatnot, where your family's from. Oh, that That'd be what, I've never actually been to Halagis myself either, Satoshi says. As they're just eating, or nibbling at them often, sorry. It's fairly different. The The food is, I'll, I'll admit, a lot more bland uh, there than it is here, but... <laughs> Still, it's home, you know, so it's a lot... Of, it's, it's interesting. As... and I have found my notes. Uh, if there's any um, any more things you, you want to discuss before I move over back to Lo-Fi Boy? Uh, no, that's okay. No worries. Alright. Lo-Fi, you got three rounds of fishing. Okay, go. Alright. First round. <laughs> As what did I do, Rovel? Sorry. <laughs> what did I do? Roll for me a survival check, please. And Lonico, could you roll for me a survival check as well? Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my character sheet. Oh, hang on. <laughs> a wound is felt in Randall's side. <laughs> 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 As you guys are like, yeah, as you guys are speaking, you see, you can hear, like, the sound of Lofa about to, like, thrust his, uh, um, his line out to sea. But before, just as, like, on the, on the anticipation of, like, the, the throw, you hear something snag behind you. As you, <clears throat> when you turn to look at that snag, you think something's trying to creep up on you. No, it's just the hook has, like, latched onto a rock behind you. Like it's gone all like it was it was quite he tossed it quite far back a bit too much some would say uh, it went over the incline like I would like to note like these platforms are like five feet up uh, off the ground like these look steps are like two point five feet each um, up to the next platform so it was five like five feet up it's a bit of an incline a bit of Pythagoras theorem to apply like the how long the line is we we ain't got time for that but you catch one of the rocks and you hear it snag and hook and. As like uh, Lofa, where you toss uh, your line out or your 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 uh, your your stick out to sea, you notice uh, there's no no line. As it's snagged, 
from the force of you pulling it and getting it stuck up over here. So now you just haven't got a line. <laughs> Do I see it? Yeah, you see his, you saw, you, you guys all saw him down there and then his fishing line gets stuck and then him still try. But then you saw his, he left his line up there. Oh dear. Can, do that, can I try and unslag it? <laughs> sure. Is this Ro is this his first time? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Rob, slight a hand, Lonico. As Lo-Fi Boy, you see, um, and while you're rolling that, uh, Lonico, could you roll for me a D uh, hundred, please? Who's rolling the D hundred? Uh, you as well. You are able to... 70, perfect. Lo, uh, as you feel... Um, it takes a bit of time, a low, for you to like uh, de-hook uh, the, um, the line, because it's, it's, pre it's pretty tightly wound from the, uh, the distance and just how like tight like the, the crevices of the rocks are. But you are able to, to unhook it, and as you unhook it, you see, these, you see Yuki walk out of the water very proudly give me a second <laughs> bless me this carrying <laughs> thank bless. you a barnacle ridden boot <laughs> and lo fi will you see this boot beside you floating and then just drop on the ground see that's how you fish <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the follow from here Oh, uh, but then your no line point. comes back as you hear Lonika's Lo voice echo, uh, from above. Uh, Yuki caught that one? Ah! Okay, Yuki, it's on. It's a competition. <laughs> you can roll another survival, Lonika and Lofi boy. <laughs> How did I end up fishing as well? <laughs> the fox. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> You, oh, no. as you make your way back to the picnic, uh, um, cloth, Lonico, you can hear the sound of Yuki. Help! Blah blah blah. Oh, Lonico! Blah blah blah. blah. Can I run I'm drowning! <laughs> as you just see him, just like fought, like tripped into the bit of the sand and the water, and like he's like still, his head's out of the water. He's like his head is on the beach, but like just some of his tails are in the water. Help! You can. Like, Lois is just gonna run up to the top of the rock, like worried, and then when she sees him, it's, it's fine. She's just gonna be like, <sighs> and Yuki? as you do, You're as I'm on the beach. Oh, Randall just like looks back to Rocky and is pretty much like, like no, this is. He gets a cute little smile and is like, this is gonna be a nice family, Rocky. I can already see it. As you, <laughs> Rocky smiles back. <laughs> You guys like make your way up the incline uh, onto the higher platform, and you guys get a really nice view of the beach as it's happening on the the horizon. Um, Satoshi also follows, uh, still nibbling on his blueberry muffin. You, what's the word I was gonna say? The thing. Uh, you, you, Rocky. As you step over there, you see low five boys uh, line come very close to hooking onto your Harry. <laughs> And you just step back instinctively, and you see Lo-Fi Boy just toss it out to sea, and then pull it back. No bite. Now, one more survival check from Lonico and Lo-Fi Boy. One more time, please. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. And how... Uh, uh, please, now one again. Not to be that guy, but it has been amazing so far. <laughs> oh! <laughs> man! <laughs> wow! Roll me a D hundred low. Ten out of ten, guys. Like, oh no, D ten. Happily watching. A D ten, please. Oh, D ten. Great display. Give me a second. If you guys like this fishing mechanic, you can also find it in the Discord, in the homebrew section. You got uh, four, was that? Yes. Roll a strength check. Oh no. Oh no. 
The music okay. is gone and it's just strength, adding strength, to the intensity. Has it? Oh, no, you fixed that. I'm oh weak. my god. <laughs> Give me a second as I just bring the music back. It's all good. If I do this. You got... Oh. Yeah, not it's not good. <laughs> you hear Yuki as as you... As like uh, uh, Rocky, you get your Harry uh, almost caught. You see the line come once more. And this time you aren't so fast. Actually, roll a deck save. Deck save. Deck All save. right. First rule of being back. <laughs> uh, um, Nat 20. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you... Nice. What would you like to do? Would you like to catch the line? What would you like to do? Like how? I want to, sidestep? as a fun little prank, can I uh, pull out one of my katanas and cut the line? You can. <laughs> <laughs> and as you just, you just get it. You just... Before it even like gets within reach, you just s snip gone, and you catch the the hook so it doesn't clatter on the ground, and you see Lo-Fi Boy toss out to sea, and then you as like and you see him just wait there very happily. He's just waiting. Rock is ready. Oh, no. He is Rockley just giggling to himself right now. <laughs> As you guys have seen Rocky do this, I will also know. And <laughs> as like they're waiting, lo uh, Yuki is also waiting. But this time is still in that drowning position, but their tail is like, you can see one of their tails drift lazily in the water. And as that like is just waving, you, you see him, his ears perk up. Ah, you fool. You fell for my trap. As Yuki jumps up. And you see him or them struggle to like run on the in on the spot in the sand, as low uh, uh, low you can see the sand uh, being pushed back into the water. As low you can see something has bit his tail. Oh no! A huge fish, and low low four, you see this fish just bite it, uh, like just swim very close. It's a huge, giant fish. It's a koi fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 the anticipation. I was, waiting, I was waiting for like what type of fish is casting. I about. know. Like, I, like, I was going to say salmon. Mackerel, salmon. Tuna. Salmon. <laughs> oh my it's god. The build up for that was amazing. <laughs> it's a giant fish. koi fish that just bit onto uh, Yuki's tail. And you, you see Yuki just doing their darndest to try and pull the fish out of the water. And then you just see his tail plop off. No! Oh, no! My tail! No! As it turns and runs back into the water, as uh, Lopo, you see the fish swim away. Um, you still blissfully waiting. And then. And you can see, Lo Nico, th all three of Yuki's eyes have tears dripping from them. As like no. a tiny fiery uh, green tail wisps in back into existence, uh, becoming nine once more, and they just turn to Lo-Fi Boy and just stare at him. As <laughs> minutes pass of nothing, Randall's just laughing, <laughs> just laughing openly at this point. <laughs> you yeah, and you start hearing everyone <laughs> laugh behind you, Lo-Fi Boy. I think they're laughing at you, <laughs> Lo-Fi Boy. I feel like you we, you've you've made quite the fool of yourself. Unlike me, of course, because I have actually caught a fish. As he picks up his boot. <laughs> I will take my prey, my my trophy back, and hang it up on my wall with pride. And they make their way back up to Lonika. As you guys see a floating boat, a boot, making its way towards you guys. Minutes pass again as like the laughter grows loud, and you can hear Satoshi is struggling, and starts choking on his mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. Yeah, Are you okay? Fish away. Stop laughing. Roll a d, uh, roll another d twenty for me. Uh, love for <laughs> you. Okay. This is straight up d twenty. Straight up d twenty. Oh. oh. Man. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> What's wrong today, man? Yeah, look how we ain't having it. Uh, it's an emotional day. It's an emotional day. As you, you, like, hear everyone laugh and turn, you kind of pu instinctively pull the line out. As you can <sighs> see, as Lo, Randall, and uh, Rocky, you guys see out in the water, like, the koi fish swimming away. Um, you can see, like, in its mouth, a fire. Just Like, you can see that, like, it, like, just peek out of the water and spit out this little tiny ball of fire that turns into a flaming hand that like goes to like try to grab onto the line that lo-fi boy has pulled out of the water but as it tries to reach for lo-fi uh, reach for the line lo-fi boy's already pulled away and the hand just falls back into the water and into the fish's mouth and it swims away <laughs> must be full of many mysterious things, Lo-Fi Boy. Do you think there are any, like, forged fish? Um... Maybe? And, and, and Rocky, did you put away the, the hook or is it like in hands as I'm coming back? <laughs> I, I'm still holding it. <laughs> Wait, look at Rocky! What's that in your hand? You uh, see a glint in the moonlight. A rock. <laughs> it's Michael. <laughs> Michael is different too. Can I do, like, he's trying to deceive me. Can I do You roll some... a perception check, yeah, if you want to try it. And if you want to roll deception, do... Rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What is Beautiful. happening? Dude, that's in a row. Rocky. What a time to be back. <laughs> how are you how are you hiding it? I'm really not. It's just like in yeah. my head. I'm <laughs> glad. That's what I want. Like you're like, you're almost you're trying to show it to him, but then Lo-Fi boy, your eyes shut down. <laughs> your fucking you eye from the trash stops working. Yeah. You guys see his eyes just turn off and just turn like as if like a shutter shut on him. <laughs> And as Rocky, like, you're, like, waiting for him to look, you put it away. And then his eyes open back up. And they just beam with light. Well, one is just beaming with light. And you can just see it start recalibrating again. And then it turns back to his normal eye color. And then stops flashing. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, okay. Never mind. I just, I thought I had seen it glimmer or something. <laughs> but it, clearly it's nothing. It must be, yeah, okay. Yeah, it makes more sense that just a uh, the a mysterious fish cut the thing. <laughs> you do say that there are some iron fish I have seen on my sailings. Like they, uh, you know, they have okay. swords as fins, and they, yeah, exactly, yeah. It's crazy uh, stuff out there on the sea, you know. So I mean, pro possibly that's what you were almost gonna catch. Like a good tuna fish. Yeah, not in that uh, name, but you know, like that kind of concept for sure. How about a rapier fish? Uh, Satoshi pipes up. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, that sounds more likely. Swordfish, maybe? They might have katana... Oh. That sounds preposterous. Yeah, oh, that just doesn't bad. sound real. That sounds Probably too basic a name. Spearfish. And Ron's luck. A betta fish? Oh, really? <laughs> no, I think spearfish. from where I'm from, they call them, like, claymore fishes or something like that, but I don't know. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Halagis was a long time ago. I have a dagger fish. That's, that's what they call the babies. Yeah. Oh, that's a sweet name. I wonder. Oh, 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 oh wait, Randall, oh, look at uh the cut on my line. What kind of uh, fish does it look like? Cut it. Can I? I mean, if this this looks like it was cut by a yes, it looks like it was cut by a daggerfish, but like Maybe a baby, a the, the baby one. So yeah, like so. Not like a big one. You'd know if it was a big one because it would have like a like a really intensive cut on this little thread, I guess. But it's hard to tell. <laughs> I don't understand really what you're asking me. <laughs> I don't know, like maybe like the way that the thread is uh, separating itself or something that like it tells 
a little bit of signs of like, I don't know. I don't know, I've never uh, seen a fish before. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I think they keep it mostly clean, so. This looks like okay. a dagger fish. But, but yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, head on back to the thing now that I, everyone's done also before the stuff you said mm -hmm. might be going down. Uh, let's go up before things go down, you know? Yeah. Like that entire <laughs> ship, I mean. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what you mean. I was, I was yeah, yeah, having yeah, trouble no, there, no. buddy. Uh, I meant it was an altitude reference, but you know. Uh, as you are, um, as, as like you guys are saying, Satoshi begins to start uh, take, uh, putting away the picnic uh, equipment and making their way back to the Red Lake Hope. You, time doesn't time once, like in like the moment of just like low fly boy fishing and just everything happening around you, the time once again feels still as, as that scent of... Um, Orange, lavender, and sandalwood washes by again once more. Um, in and like yeah, night night is uh, the purples start making their way up the skyline. The green is still evident, but it still has that dreamlike quality in this one moment. As as you stand on the highest platform low. Looking out to sea and um, you feel you you can see on like the pebbles around you and on some of the blades of grass tiny wisps of fire just hiding and just more than you normally would notice you see these all of them seem to be making their way from um up, up uh, north of the coast uh like making their way towards uh just various pebbles and rocks and trying to latch onto them as they're as you can see them making their way and it's yeah. do i like recognize them as like spirits of people or roll insight or religion for me you got as your as you are looking at these spirits making their way you feel a coming off of each of them a feeling of sadness fear anger and just a wealth of strong emotions Ge all of them generally range uh, around those four some are content but most are very confused in this moment as you you all hear above in the sky give me a second you hear Just, what what <laughs> the police sirens start going off yeah you hear just a sound of thunder as low you Worse. see some of the, the the clouds spark a red in this moment out to sea towards the mainland does it look like the storm's coming this way or mm. um she's gonna like turn to see feel... there. sorry with the with the storm it doesn't feel like you it doesn't feel natural mm -hmm. when you look at it, and it doesn't feel like it's... You almost feel like it's... Calling for you. Is 
Is it not like so? It's not like the Tengu one that no, we this saw is, before. No, this is completely different. Okay. This one feels um, more powerful and more. But it's not coming this way. No. You say? No. no. Um. She's gonna sort of turn to everyone and be like, um, uh, before we, before we go, uh, there's, I'll be as quick as I can, but there's a lot of uh, spirits and it would be a dereliction of my duties if I didn't do something to help guide them. Uh, Captain, is there any uh, origami paper on the ship, perhaps? Yeah, I, I, I believe there should be some. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll run and get some. Thank you. As you just see them run away. Uh, make being as careful as they can. Okay. Try not to trip. I mean, if you if you want to come and get help, grab me. How much do you need, Lonika? Um. Well, we'll need to make origami. So as much as you think we can okay. make in a short period of time. I'll, I'll bring. I'll see. I'll see how many. See what I can bring. If, How far away is the ship? It's just, um, I'd say, about 30 feet off map. Okay. Yeah. So it is close. Stay, stay safe. I just don't trust the situation still. She's going to eye the storm so cautiously. And like, um, I know you just got out of a bad situation, but um, I may be a shaman, but I still have another trial to go through. All I know is that it will be soon, and that it will be hard. I don't know what it is. And I don't really know what that storm is, but it's not natural. So, who knows? Um, but anyway, I have to perform some rites um, for these spirits who I can only assume... And she's going to look up at like the where the mountain used to be. Mm. Sure. You can feel when you look at the mountain. You can feel a lot of like that um, strong emotion emanating from the and just coming waves, but constantly coming with that feeling or that sense of uh, or that scent of orange and lavender and the hint of smoke mm. as they make their way towards you. And when you are looking. Um, when you turn back to the shore, you see Yuki uh, makes their way in front of you as well. And as like they pass beside you, like, you feel them brush on your skirts. As Randall and Rocky, you see um, this fox appear and just stand in front of Lo. And, oh. um, and just look out to the ocean. And it just turns to Lo Nico. And you can see his, uh, it, his tail's come out like a fan, uh, and it just wafts like fire um, around, swaying. It isn't very big; it like just roughly comes up to the um, up to like uh, the top of Lonico's knees, and it just looks out to the uh, the waters. And Lo, could you draw me a perception check? <laughs> You, when you look at uh, Yuki and then look at um, back out to sea, those thunder clouds don't move. But you can see that like the lightning coil around the clouds, um, but you don't see much past that. As Satoshi does end up uh, does come back with a small little box. Um, I say small. It's like a like a tin of um like a sweets tin or biscuit tin sorry and like they begin uh, you hear the uh, their heels and uh, footsteps on the stone as they make their way up and they almost trip as they get to the top but then they come out with some uh, and they open the tin revealing a bunch of very unique and decorative origami sheets of paper and a lot of them the quality of it is very fine um and you can assume this is a choice of Mr. Sayers as he begins to hand <laughs> or they begin to start handing it uh, out to everyone. Just 
just want to say hello, Nico, to you. Uh, I put my like I'm still looking off to the storm. Uh, I put my my hand on on Lo Nico's sh shoulder, and I just want to say to you, Lo Nico, that whatever trials you're gonna going to go through, I'm here for you, and I'll I'll, I'll try to always be there if I can. I'm here for so you too. <laughs> I was going to do that. Right there. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck, wait. Um, what? Do you want to come up? <laughs> uh, sure. I'll take the long way. Uh, just no, cause... I can. I'll, 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 I'll extend my hand and I'll, I'll, oh. I'll pull you up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thanks. That's. You'd have to, like, reach down. Like, you'd have to. Um... Sure, I'll climb down a little bit and yeah. pull you up. Yeah, Get up you... here quickly, buddy. You don't have to go all the way around. As you begin pulling him up, you see the tide does start to come in and is making its way towards you. He's reached about here. Um, ah. By the time you pull up Lo-Fi Boy, it... And when, like, you look at it, it almost looks like thousands of blue and wh uh, white hands made from the water and the foam as it pulled its way towards you guys. I'm just going to do this as... Give me a second. Yeah, they say time and tide wait for no man. And Satoshi is... <laughs> Was that you, Sam? What? Yeah. The water, like he, he just... Oh, wow. He, he just drew a water line. <laughs> um, you... Satoshi does look... When they look at uh, Yuki, they are a bit... Surprised. And they constantly are just watching the fox. Um, as like they in just na instinctively go to start folding the paper, but they just keep watching the fox and very surprised. <laughs> but they don't know if they like should say something or if like if because like being surrounded by you guys, <laughs> we, they've seen a lot of things recently and they've 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 they've, they've had a lot of things happen in their life. They don't know if this didn't, is didn't didn't Satoshi see Yuki in the fight? Oh yes, so, oh yes. So, sorry, ignore my ignore my statement. So, <laughs> Satoshi. Is confused when they see Yuki, but they don't. Um, the surprise isn't as wide as if they were suddenly like in shock of seeing them for the first time. This is more so just like, it's just, why are they here again? Um, in this moment. But yeah, this. I'm not raging, am I? You know what, sorry? Like, in character, I'm saying this, so. Okay. I mean, like, wait, 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 everyone's seeing Yuki, right? It's not. Yeah. Fox? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Hi, Yuki. It turns to you. Uh, Hello, Lo-Fi Boy. Congratulations on the um, fishing tournament thing. Thank you for reveling in my victory. Mm -hmm. I hope to <laughs> destroy you again. Let's make it a best out of three is all I'm gonna say. Give me some, I'm just gonna turn the waves down just a bit because it is a bit too loud on my end. <laughs> but like it is louder and more. It's and as the it, tide's coming in. Yeah. <laughs> is there a reason I'm not hearing noises in game? Like, have I you have got roll twenty muted? Uh, where would that setting be? Is it in like miscellaneous or? It's uh, like the tab it's or like Chrome if Chrome's muted or like. Shouldn't be muted, no. Um, but in audio and video, you can set to, uh, like, in the mm. settings, you can change the master music volume level. Yeah, I'll see if I'll see if that helps you. Yeah. Okay, okay, I can hear it now. Okay. Sorry. No worries. Kaz. Yes. Is it still effective to like? guide them just to the sea in general or does it sort of need to be by the river no, no, no the sea works just as fine you cool. you feel like this is the spot where you you're what are we folding uh you see just as the talk she start folding origami just like paper people uh just just make just make um just just just, just start folding the origami and like make a little like you know, boats yeah, little boss. Does, it have, does it have to be in a specific way, or does it just have to work? It just has to work. But if you want to, like, I can, sh I can show you. And they just start folding. Uh, some. Uh, no, Nico, what are you folding? 
Uh, <laughs> it's a bio question. Um, you should be folding my little birds. Um, but she's gonna summon a few dancing lights, um, sort of along where the sea is. Mm -hmm. You said Come you in. said this is for the people that have died, right? Uh, yes, the spirits are. Are lost. Um, if we cannot perform quite the full funeral rites, but as long as we do something, they will have a better chance of finding their way and not becoming yokai, especially with such negative emotions. Uh. Yuki gives you a nod, hello, uh, when you when you start preparing the dancing lights. Um, she's going to make a few origami ones, and then she's going to um, sit with her shamisen, and she's going to use her creation magic to make a lantern. Mm -hmm. Do you want to describe mm -hmm. what that looks like as you're... as you are... Playing this, could you describe the music that you're playing for me? Um, she would probably be playing quite a soft, sort of peaceful song at the moment. Um, probably similar to one she's heard played at funerals before. Mm -hmm. Um, sort of just quite a calming one. Yeah. Um, and when she uses her performance magic the object sort of is made from the bottom up and it's sort of looks like it's made of fire and music notes as it takes shape uh, i think it actually has a slight music to it um, anyone that touches it As you start playing the music and as like this turns to fire, it swirls around you, Yuki, and around Lofibo and Rocky as well, and uh, Randall. Um, and you feel when it passes by you, Rocky and Randall, you the smell of um, oranges and lavender washes away for a moment. And as it brushes into you, Lofi boy, you feel a warmth unlike um, anything else you felt before. Oh, you, the warmth of Lonely Coast magic that you normally feel, if not more intense, as you feel it drawing you, uh, Lo-Fi Boy, you feel like it's like uh, like um, you feel like a moth to a flame in this moment almost, as you are drawn towards the fire as it swirls around and you begin to hear Yuki start to sing um, creating a harmony with Lo Nico's music as a lantern forms and lands on the waters as the tide comes in uh, almost as if like it's climbing up the rock surface towards you Lo and everyone else uh, with white everything okay? Yeah I wanted to give the lantern to oh. <laughs> um, once I've made the lantern, I wanted to offer it oh. to Rocky and Randall to oh. set into the ocean. Sorry, my mistake. All right, then. <laughs> Wait, the no. water. Do, 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 do we get to like put origami things onto this, or, or how does that work? Or uh, you can release those into the ocean as well. Okay, okay. Just, just okay. asking because I have. I have Yuki gives you a nod once again, hello, uh, as you pass it to Rocky and Randall. As um, that smell of like, like it pulls off you guys and lingers on the lantern and it almost feels like incense. Not incense, sorry, like um, as, and as, like uh, an oil burner. Um, as like this smell wafts and instead of being that sad, um, like give, keeping that like a sad, um, connotation to the smell the you feel weightless 
when when you smell it this time. Um, as you guys, uh, as Satoshi pops one of their origami, um, um, little tiny origami men onto the, uh, onto, onto the lantern and then just uh, gives you guys space uh, to drift off into the water. Because, uh, I, I would, if I could have like 16 pieces of paper, I don't know if that's too much mm -hmm. to ask or something, but. You're rogue, I think I'd allow it. Uh. Unless, Rocky, if you want to fold a, a couple of origamis of certain folks. I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll fold as well. Okay. Uh, for, for Randall, at least, Randall starts to origami dis sort of distinct figures. Uh, some of them look like lizard folk. A lot of them look like Genasi and elves and, uh, and just humans in general, but there are a couple that are like a kobold sized a goliath tieflings and uh, an orc hobgoblins things like that they're just more distinct figures uh, and he adds them to the lantern and okay lo-fi voice paying close attention to the lantern as things are being added to it i i uh, lo-fi voice also um, folding, like, flowers that are similar to his body. He's thinking that if there are other forged like him that haven't really experienced a lot of na natural things, that doing a flower that is compatible with forged beings would be something that might make them feel a bit more at home. Is that you asking, or was that you just like... Um, no, I wasn't, no, yeah, no, I'm good, good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, cause I was worried for a second because like, I felt like the last part of that felt like an, a question. But yeah, no, yeah, no. you placing on like you, you also see like as like the water makes its way, you feel Rocky and Randall. You feel like your the lantern is pulling you towards the water and wanting to push, it, um, let it like out into the ocean. And um, as like it's making its way up, climbing. Uh, the water climbs up uh, onto the, uh, the, uh, the platform that you guys are on, reaching out for the origami boats, lanterns, and um, and just all the things you guys have like made to drift off and, uh, the waters. It, um, you feel it calling, uh, calling for them. Lo will set her origami cranes in the water and then take out her flute and start to play some more um, songs from mostly from Sherry Leo but possibly if she knows them a few from other places as well mm -hmm. yeah you um, you you've you've had a very extensive um, knowledge of learning like um, like ritual music but also you've having just been interested in music you would have learned uh, like various cultures um music that would be performed at funeral rites and such and you mm -hmm. begin to play a medley of a variety of, of these of these songs as do you wish to step in the water lo-fi boy yeah as you go to like put your foot in the water you feel you will fall bearing in mind that the water like the water has come up but the beach hasn't like you there is there is a fall when you step in but yeah you do feel the like the lantern is beckoning for you towards it and calling you to uh, to follow it in this moment do you still want to step forward i guess feeling that like it's like a void or something. I just turn back and say, and ask Ro Nico. I can't am I give you a second to... Oh no, really? Oh. Oh my sorry. I guess Lo Fi was kind of hesitating and turning to Lo Nico mm -hmm. and asking her. Where am I supposed to go, Loniko? What as, are you doing? As you ask that, you feel the roots 
within you clink and almost try to keep you from stepping into the water in this moment. I guess in little face confusion, she'll stop playing for a moment and um, sort of her hand on his arm. I think stay here, little five way, with us. I I would cast a tangle on myself. <laughs> <laughs> and as um, uh, sorry, Rock, Rocky, would you like to make these last few with me? And yeah. Uh, I I uh take take a pa paper and I make a distinct orc with horns and more flush hair. Uh, it's actually. It's hard to distinguish between if it's pink or orange, uh, in the in the paper, <laughs> but it's <laughs> you're doing your. He's, he's also got uh, more distinct hands on on this one, yeah. <laughs> and then I, I give the next piece of paper to Rocky. I uh, <clears throat> I go ahead and fold a. Uh, um, I, um, give me one second. Nervous. As you are folding, the tide continues to ride. It continues to ride and um, rise. And it begins to start gra trying to grasp onto the lanterns. Um, the lantern that you guys are preparing. And Lo, you can see as this is happening, you can see with the fires you've uh, got like uh, lining the waters and uh, the ones that are already in the water you can see a vast array of lights um, that are these wisps of fire uh, climbing on to the origami and the lanterns and follow and swimming towards the fires and some are even flying uh, but just circling around um, this area of the, uh, the, uh, the platform waiting for the final lantern to to be placed in she'll turn to rocky and randall and give them a slight bow when you are ready uh rocky's gonna go ahead and fold up a, a tiefling um the panther like horns um with a Inside a, uh, kind of, kind of give it like a weird, kind of folding two of them, I guess. One looks like the shadow of another, um, and hands that over. Randall, uh, like thinks for a second before doing his next one and like shakes the paper a bit in his hand and finally decides <laughs> to start doing it. Uh, he creates a like kind of cloaked figure uh, with a mask with horns on it and uh, a bow with this character and adds it to the lantern. And uh, before finally again thinking again and making a distinct fire genasi who is holding a I think a polearm type weapon. <laughs> it's like a long a spear and yeah. a glaive, yeah, yeah. And adds it to the to the lantern as well. Mm -hmm. And like as you place the final uh, sets, um, you feel the waters reach up and take the lantern away from you. And as it begins to drift out, so see you guys don't see the spirits, but Lo Nico can see them all. And you just see it's a rainbow of colors um, just following as like the tide pulls away from you for a moment, drifting out towards the ocean and becoming the sea in this one area is you is indistinguishable between these wisps. It's like it's a sea of fire in this moment, a rainbow sea of fire making its way towards the Haroma. Um, 
and like as like this happened like you can see like the the tint the green tint above the mountain isn't visible at all as this, as, as you're doing this and the night sky has fully taken over cloudless um and just the stars just twinkle um twinkle down at you all and as you are playing your music low um as you are playing music you your bells you hear the uh, the jingles of your bells and you hear the um you can hear like your music that you make and uh, yuki's music and the sound of the campfire uh, crackling behind you as your heart starts beating and as that as the uh, beat of your heart grows faster as you see um just more and more spirits teeming towards the water swimming flying and just following the lantern uh back to the mainlands you your heart uh, um, starts picking up the pace as the crackling of the fire grows louder and the jingling in your ears stops as um as all the spirits in this moment just start blending into one your your vision begins to blur um and you you feel your eyes make uh, trying to make their way upwards as the uh, sky is now covered with clouds as um red lightning just surges everywhere around you as you can see just uh, over on the main, um like this is uh just off uh, the shore so uh, but it is focusing on you as and as you see like these surge you see it turn into a giant red dragon that coiled itself around the the clouds and flying on trails of red lightning that surge out of the sea and towards you um, and as it like comes closer, the just monstrosity of um, the gargantuan size of this dragon completely takes you by surprise, and you don't hear your heart anymore. Uh, just the fire crackling and your music, as um, as it flies over you, um, you you hear you don't see any shadow uh, cast by the creature, and you see it flying inwards uh, southwest uh, towards a forest. Uh, that's just off um, uh, further into the mainlands as you guys hear oh not you guys sorry as low you hear the sound of a crow cawing uh, from the forest as this dragon flies over um, and it's as its echo reverberates around you uh, more like as if like it was right in your head um, the sound of a hundred crows starts cawing, uh, cawing uh, making a song adding to your song creating thousands of harmonies and melodies that accompany and enhance the music you're, uh, you're performing but amongst all those voices a very distinct um, pair can be heard come little star old Otani wants to meet you you hear your uh, parents voice ring in your ears and Give me a second. And that's like, sorry, go on, Jordan. What was the name? Sorry. Old Otani. I'll I'll write that for you. Thank you. No <laughs> Give me a second. As and as that course, but you pull yourself back into the moment, and as you um. Your vision rift returns in this moment, and you can see the tide of spirits at sea have like are making their way towards me, like miles away from you. But you can still see their light shine, uh, shine, shine at you guys in the darkness. And as you are seeing this happen, you can see more spirits making their way towards the beach, towards you, and they begin circling around you, hundreds and ta thousands teeming all around you as if they also wanted to be a part of um that wave that re uh, that went out and as like they make their way towards you that you feel surrounded as they all come towards you and like as they're making their way up the plinth uh you feel like you see them fusing into larger wisps uh, becoming amalgamations of humanoid shapes distorting and corrupting as they begin to grow more arms as they begin to crawl 
and try to make their way towards you. And you feel in that moment your heart stop. The music uh, that you're making uh, j- um, gone. And you feel your body just fall through the stone. As you see you and Yuki free falling from uh, the sky, about to crash into the open. Uh, into the ocean and you can see Yuki's panicking and flustered in this moment as they're trying to like um, trying to reach for something to grab onto but you're you're free uh, you are in the middle of the ocean there is nothing uh, around you and as you crash into the water uh, you feel uh, thread and you, you feel your body hit thread and as you hit it it snags and it snaps um, and you just plummet into pitch blackness. As um, as you keep falling and hitting into these threads, you can see glimpses of the beach um, and like just um, forest creatures minding their own business and fish swimming below the waters. As a equestri- equestrian like creature with jewels strewn amongst wires draped on its antlers, prancing on the thread that like you are breaking. Um, And with one final snag and snap, you fall into another void, uh, like that of the Shabbat and more that you had uh, been in when you had first met the party. And then nothing. And we're going to take a break. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, that was not English even. (laughs) (laughs) That was a Sam noise, I'm sorry. That was. Yes, uh, we're oh. going to take a quick break. Um, uh, so we're going to go get some more water. We're going to get, we're going to move our legs. We're going to refresh. I am going to sort out the uh, poster contest um, stuff, and we are going to uh, pick a winner. Um, while we're gone, you you should maybe go go rest your legs too. Go go do things. I am going to just quickly just plug a few things so that you guys can. If you want to check out some things while you're away, you can. If you want to join our Discord community and be more involved with the World of Shreylo and take part and just in the, the various things we do as a community, such as world building, art night, and movie nights. We're doing a bunch of movie nights for October. Uh, you can join the Discord. We also run a West Marches set in the World of Shreylo that you can take part in. And as um, along with that, if you want to catch up on older sessions of Thunder Top Sands, you can here on YouTube if you would like to. Um, and it includes Jailhouse Rocky and the Into the Rocky Verse one shot. And the other thing I want to plug, I believe, is um, my art. Yeah. If you enjoy the art you see on stream, other than the map, the maps are done by Two Minute Tabletop. But uh, if you enjoy the token art, the overlays, and the character headshots, and the, the key art of the characters, you can uh, check out my art on Instagram or Twitter. If you want to, or you can grab some of my tokens on Kofi. Um, yes, I am going to be right back. We're going to be right back in about five ten minutes. If you're enjoying the session, thank you. Um, if you've been lurking and watching the pod, I thank you for being here too. And um, uh, when we get back, uh, layer actions and such will be uh, in act, and we shall uh, see you guys in a hot second. Bye. They can't anymore.
with the friends and the fam And I always love the Yahweh Lord knows that I couldn't do it my way I just bought a ticket for the fast lane Now I'm hopping on a flight to the SFA to so forget the pressure To get on stocks of golf When you're up against the wall And you cannot fall So go off, go off Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're back. Uh, I am going to do this. We're going to, um, before we go straight back into the session, we're going to announce the winner of the um, the fan art challenge. I believe this is the one. So I'm just going to quickly make it. Makes you want to watch a Kaz animation. Kaz animation. This is it. Like, this is the live text version. Or not text version. The radio play version of it. Uh, file. Um, I'm just gonna put like this the fan over here. Like I haven't got a slot for it, but as you can see, there are many wonderful uh, entries that were uh, made this year um, for the 2022 uh, Task Poster Challenge. Uh, to those who don't know, it is a world building uh, challenge we do as a team, where um, and uh, we have it be community wide, where um, those that partake uh, and enter are helping build the world Australia by creating a poster that is part of the universe, but also is um, just a fun way to engage with the community and bring them in on the world because you guys have some stunning ideas and um, a lot of these are just have inspired a lot of really cool ideas, um, such as like a few West Marches quests and there was one uh, that's to, uh, one char one very prevalent character, actually, for example, that uh, was uh, made during the uh, last year's, uh, the 2021 um, Poser Challenge. They, they've they become a very prominent character uh, in the story. Um, if you don't know who I'm speaking of, it's your boy, Sun Yi. Um, they, they, um, they were originally created uh, by um, Chris Chan, a Filipino artist who uh, made a... Um... Yeah, no, the Gosma one's really good. Um, they had made a, a wanted poster for Sun Yi, and um, that led to Sun Yi becoming uh, who they are. There's one poster I just have to quickly add because I forgot to add Neo's poster. Um, yes, have a look. Uh, revel in this stunning set of community art. Um, and if you want to partake in next year's, uh, it'll be coming again probably around July or June. But um, you can get a head start and start working on it now if you want to, because uh, it's it, it will be a thing and like um yeah you 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 have all the time to to take part. In. Like if you didn't enter now, you can enter later on, and then it lead it would lead to the next one. Uh, just give me a second, and add neos. Let me do this. 
you need guardsmen to the dance. What's the dance? I've never seen it. The god numbers they're talking about god numbers yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, my mistake. I didn't, I didn't read that. My mistake. Opa Gosman style. That's good. I like that. Um, also, there's no music oh, because I uh, haven't put it on yet, but not to worry. Um, so there's been 12 entries this year. Um, so I'm going to ask uh, someone in chat to roll me a D12, please. And uh, we're going to see who, who's won. Uh, while I'm waiting, how are you finding the session? You guys enjoying it? You guys, you guys vibing? Why has the map changed to like Neo's art? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I realized why. Like I was like, why is it, why is the map weird? That's why <laughs> they opened. We got a nine. Perfect. Let's see. Um, who was number nine? My internet connection has dropped. Can you guys hear me fine on Discord? Oh, because the internet is dropped. <laughs> oh. So what is going on? <laughs> me me internet. It's not it's not having it. Guys, you gotta move over to Canada, man. The internet over here kicks ass. Congratulations, Georgia. Oh no! Um... Don't pick someone else. <laughs> All right. Oh Can shit! I get... Can I get another D12, please? But yeah, Georgia. Well, <laughs> thank you for entering. When you I'm can. on stream. <laughs> no, it's... it can work. Seven. Perfect. Is it damn afraid? Oh gosh. Oh, yeah, they're afraid of Pastor coming back into haunt us. Well done, Epi. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Epi. <laughs> Epi's not on stream. She can't refuse. Surely. Why is, it... oh, so why is everyone's be... head weird? It's because, like, it's I... a, it's trying to pass it back to Georgia. Yeah. Epi, no. <laughs> well done. Congratulations, Effie, on on winning. I'll reach out. Um, I shall. Yeah. Congrats, <laughs> Bud. Do <laughs> you have it shown on uh, a <laughs> Buddy? Yeah, uh, it's on stream. The one that specifically won was the Origami Corp. Um, Origami Corp uh, piece, but there's also um, Epi uh, did enter twice. Yeah, yeah. You were you were number seven. Um, the top shown up for me. Is it? Give me some. I don't think it's cycling through all of them. OBS man, why are you being? Why are you being one for? Three. OBS more like oh my ass. Sorry, was that <laughs> like O O B S? You know. Oh yeah, that yeah. <laughs> I am going to be one of the origami cops. I we we discussed this. I would. I I I have like oh. after the. Oh yeah, it's okay. he's gonna be. He's gonna yes. be. He's gonna be all right. Patient. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Cavs. Who? Has it just dis? I, oh, there just... he goes. Poo? Jesus Christ. <laughs> am I just poo? <laughs> he was Gosh, this... for I don't... a very long time. Yeah, no, like it's it's just it's it's red for. Is it fine? I don't know if it's fine now. Um, it's time to threaten your internet fine. service it's provider okay, to yeah. go to another internet. Service. It's reconnected apparently immediately, which is very interesting. It never does that. Sure. Never. That's the first time it's done that, and I appreciate that. Yeah, bastard. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> like, OBS won't say, like, you're welcome in chat, Kaz. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, <laughs> Effie, on uh, winning. Uh, the or I will hopefully get the Origami Corp. Um, into the game, I have. I okay. My head is like almost they're like like almost like like the like the Boy Scouts or like just like the Scouts is like what I want them to be like, and like leading up to actual like like stuff. Uh, that's that's my idea. It's like um. Well, we'll we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll sort that out. Um, I'm gonna take those off screen. But well done, Epi, and thank you everyone that entered. Um, and I hope to see you guys enter again next year, and make some cool art whenever. You guys are all beans. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll reach out for you. Uh, you have a choice out of any of the uh, fifth edition books that have been released this year, Epi, uh, or you can take a fifty pound Amazon gift card. It is up to you. 
um and i shall uh, get into contact with you regarding regarding what you want of those um yes let's get into the stream Bro. Oh. Give me a second. Everyone can put their favorite bare naked lady song in chat. Please. Only you put one thing in. <clears throat> His love is in a dangerous place. Bare naked lady. Your favorite bare naked lady song. Uh... I'll, put, I'll put mine in chat right now. Do you know okay. bare naked lady sound? name sounds familiar because probably i've hung around time with you guys that like it's been mentioned before here's the thing i like because i i didn't know apparently it's apparently because i thought because you're canadian you might know that's that's the theory but all right we're gonna we're gonna move digress we're gonna go back into the session if that's okay with you guys yeah. if, if, if obs wants to yeah oh yeah i mean yes obs what is it called obs, OBS. So, yeah you so yeah as Lo has had her little moment, uh, yeah, just, little moment. <laughs> I'm in the boys. Uh, the waves around you guys start crashing furiously. Is my body still there, or I'll get am there. I completely gone? <laughs> okay. <laughs> As the campfire, you uh, hear crackling, but amongst the sound of the crashing waves, it's very difficult to hear. As you just see Lo Nico drop to her knees. In, in this moment, um, uh, amid, amidst playing, you see Yuki just turn into a wisp of fire that like just de um, that just f begins to flare. Does he burn in white fire? <laughs> no, he doesn't. He begins flaring up as he mm. as Loniko starts exuding the heat of a raw pyre. Um, as Yuki f Yuki's f uh, f uh, flame form weaves around uh, Loniko and starts uh, creating a sheen of fire that um, takes like almost like a, like see, uh, looks like a barrier that just surges around uh, Loniko's body as she gets onto her, uh, onto her fours. You can uh, she turns to you, you and you guys can when you look into the hollows of her eyes, Rocky and Randall. You see, actually, well, you all see strangers' eyes looking back at you. Uh, you don't uh, see Lowe's golden irises with stars twinkling in them. Rocky and Randall, you see thousands of eyes that you recognize as inmates and guards staring back at you uh, through Lonico's eyes in this moment. As um, as Lo Lo Pablo, you just you are just getting waves of strangers' eyes looking back at you through Lo uh, Loniko's eyes, and then in like one final final moment, they shift turquoise and turn into like the shape of targets, like that of a yokai. As she begins to snarl from behind her mask, muffled and distorted, as fiery breath wreaths out of her whiskers. Uh, from where the whiskers are painting, creating a ring of fire around all of you. Give me a second. It just erupts into a ring of fire that surrounds every single one of you in this moment as it just starts burning furiously. As the waves, upon crashing, they look to have fully what's the word I'm looking for not settled but they've the tide has fully come in and whoa you, your platforms are oh wow the only thing atop the water as the waves are crashing all around you um give me a second and in this moment of fire circling around you, I'm just going to give me a second. You see these fiery figures reaching out, clawing their way through the fire, becoming the various form of yokai, as I'm going to put this down. 
as Lowell Nico just is there in between you all. What the hell? You see <laughs> this crawl out of the fire. You see this crawl out of the fire. And you see this crawl out of fire. I would like to also note you guys all had a long rest. So We have what? You've had a long rest, I will like to know. While you <laughs> while you were picnicking, I will not you have had a long rest. Alright. But yeah, you guys are surrounded in fires, the waves. Um, I'm gonna ask, uh, the entangle, basically I don't have any more because I just narratively used it, right? Yeah, no, you, you don't, you, 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 you can, uh, you can keep, um, you can keep it intact. I, I'll, uh... But I'm gonna, I'm gonna untangle, because it's concentration, I think. Yeah, you can, you can untangle I'm not gonna it. entangle myself anymore. Not, not when the, all of this is happening. Yes. So you're saying... So we're in initiative. What? 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 <laughs> and Low Nico is first. <laughs> All right. And still snarling. Still snarling. She's snarling. Oh. You do not. See, when you look at the eyes, at the hollow of her eyes, you do not see Low Nico stare back at you. In in these moments. What would you like to do, Lonika? Um, I think I'll probably cast Burning Hands. <laughs> Go ahead. When do you cast it? Uh, I'm really bad at fucking. No worries. The. <laughs> uh. Perfect. No way. <laughs> I just want y'all to know I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, God, I can't fucking. How does the sheet work, Kaz? That's okay. Um, you will need to roll three d six. Oh, if you roll, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, you can use your normal low sheet for your spells. They'll uh, your, okay. your, your your stuff like that. Across. So you'll have two sheets on hand for this. Okay. <laughs> well, let me just look that up again. <laughs> That'll need to be on your turn. Then on my turn, okay. Yeah. Reaction's the only one you can do outside your turn. Okay, also, thank you. there was a lair action that happened, high tide, and I will enact that after the first round. Roll me a deck save, Rocky and Randall. Oh. <laughs> oh. Where my 17. Sheet at? One 17. second, my sheet is missing. One second. <laughs> there we go. Deck save. Or 16. Okay. What's your DC, uh, Lonika? Uh, it's 15, I believe. 15. Oh, it says 19 there, doesn't it? That's, that's right. Answer. No, that's a lie. Oh, okay, okay. Because I was about to be like, that worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot worse. That yeah. is a lie. You both are just instinctively, like, where do you guys want to, like, how do you guys want to react to, like, Lonika just suddenly, on all fours, actually snarling? You see, um, the distortion takes form into fire that like just pushes towards you like a thousand uh, foxes on fire charging and swirling around you trying to leap at you and trying to bite at you and trying to lash at you with their tails how are you evading this fire uh, dodge immediately to the to this direction i guess if i can mm -hmm. what about you rocky um this would be on a uh, downward incline, by the way, I'd like to because this is a raised platform, which is by five feet. So oh, like, then I'll just probably duck, like, like, if I can get under some rock here. Yeah, you can get under rock. So are you saying rock? I'm going to... I don't really know. Uh, 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 I can't really tell, so can I run, like, or down here yeah, and yeah, dodge so, it? So, yeah, like, the way this works is, like, if I draw a quick little thing on the map. So it's like this. That is the raised platform, and then like the steps down are like the center bit. But you can jump down if you want to. Okay. I will. Uh, I'm not going down too far. Just, just... Yeah, no, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You can also, also jump in the water. We also still take. We also still take just half damage. Yeah, on you this, do. Yeah. So. You can jump into the water if you wish. The water is only five feet deep here. Um. 
I don't want to jump all the way in the water, just like a little bit down. I don't know, is this... A... That'd be the edge, I'd say. Yeah, yeah that's the edge. Yeah, you can get on like a little rough side, just touches the water. All right. Yeah. Um, but you, as you get jump, just instinctively just dive out of the way, you both get caught by some of these fun. You hear the snarling of um, of the fox fire just catch you. And you, the burn is unlike that you've ever felt. As Lo Nico begins to, as the fire starts taking form behind her, becoming nine giant tails. Oh my <laughs> god! Snarling fury, see that like reverberates across the beach. Anything else you'd like to do, Lonika? Oh, sure, I will use the uh, bardic abjugation. Oh. <laughs> oh, As you hear, Lord, um... whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> you don't even know. Use it. I'm gonna no. use it on Rocky. Go ahead, Rocky. Your next roll has a minus D6 on it. Has a oh, minus D six. God. <laughs> okay. Who would you like to pass your uh, turn out to if you don't want to do anything else? Um, I will pass to Randall. I'm trying to remind you. There there's are there's no Randall allies. fear. There's only Randall shock, and I need there to be a Randall fear. Oh, my, I'm. Sorry. Do, what do oh, I angry. do? What do I do with those? I do... they're, they're your allies. I will control those. Okay. But they're... Oh, okay. So I can pass to them individually, or yeah, you can pass to any one of them. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh no. Uh, in which case, I changed my mind. Um, okay. <laughs> can I pass it to the one, uh, the big guy on the rock? I've got my ping. Where is it? So, there yeah. it is. That yes. one. Yeah. As you, as it just pulled itself out of the fire, creating a uh, hammer, um, it sees Rocky rush down and it starts crawling on all fours and it's so now it's on its six legs and starts crawling down the rocks into the water towards you uh rocky and it tries to slam its hammer down on you okay really great to be back guys <laughs> <laughs> so sorry oh uh, what, what do i do what am i doing it's gonna attack you yep all right nine you, you dodge. You're, yeah. As you're like just like dodging out of the way of Lonely Cuss Fire and just trying to just not get cut on any of the barnacles or the rocks as you're evading everything, this Shaban comes flying to, or crawling towards you. And as it's splashing through the water, you see it struggles to adjust with the weight, like the, the flow of water uh, and having that weight on it. And it tries to just smash you with this hammer, but creating a just explosion of rock that smashes into you as it just completely misses you. And it passes it on to the Oni. That makes its way towards Randall. Ah! Uh. And it's going to also try and attack Randall. Back it up, buddy! With its... Bear in mind, I need to fix something. With its great Bearing tool. it in mind. If it wants to roll damage. Oh, just ignore this 19. Does a 6 hit? Uh, no. Like the other one, you are just in instinctively on ready to, like, just get out of the way. And as you see, this only rush towards you. Uh, reads in fire. I'm going to change the color to red because that's more appropriate, I think. It... It struggles to um, to even catch you. You are just a blur. It is gonna pass this move to the Shaban, and it really can't do anything. So it just, you just see, it just jump into the water and just splash. We're aware that it's coming. It is gonna pass its turn over to Love Light. Breathing in deep, No 
idea what was happening or what to do. It feels extremely focused. And there's no hesitation to his movements. And all he's focused on is trying to find a way to get Loniko back. And so, as a reaction, the first thing he'll do is not mess around and he'll turn his uh, umbrella into the standard sword and shield. Mm -hmm. And he will enter rage though. Go ahead, roll CD 100. So that's a 24. Mm -hmm. As... I just need a second. No worries. Yeah. You guys just see with Lonico's just heat exuding off around like the fire lashing outwards you see uh lo-fi boy in this moment start having a similar aura of fire a circle around him and like it's like put lilac uh whitish lilac uh fire just r ripple off of him as he begins just taking in the moment and his flowers begin to start growing aggressively over his body in this moment and some of his cracks start tearing um, or uh, breaking wider. Okay, so I'm one click away from being able to tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, no I'll put it in chat right now. Mm -hmm. Oh baby! <laughs> and so, uh, like, as the flowers are growing uh, more intensely, and the the cracks are like also starting to grow, um, probably the like there's a bit of the chest piece that opens up completely, where the wild magic Shiseki stone like. Uh, like just shines an incredibly bright light <laughs> and this, considering that I'm looking straight forward at Lonico uh, the, the bolt of light would shoot from my chest uh, towards her <laughs> and she would need to do a con saving throw yeah. what's the DC? The DC will be... I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, it will be 10 plus my proficiency plus barbarian level, so 14 plus whatever my proficiency is. Uh, Doesn't it say at the top of your sheet? I'm going back. Yeah, 2, so it's a 16 to pass. 16. Uh, Lonely cousin rolled. Uh, could you roll me a con save? Uh, do I do that on my normal? Yeah, you can use normal sheet. Yeah. This uh, this sheet has generally all your stats. It's just uh, like the like just I think specific stuff is the only thing. And you succeed. Uh, okay, so what? Passed. As your bolt of light fires towards Lonely, can you see one of her tails. She doesn't even turn to you. One tail just catches the light and consumes it, and you can see her fire in her um, in, in in her form shift once more to a green but then what back the into the pink and orange and red as she just surges furiously causing a like it's night but like with the light she is producing off of her it like almost feels like um daybreak in this moment anything else you like to do lonely uh, uh, boy? i'd like to um call out to uh, to Lonico basically saying how dare you you told me to stay here now you're not even 
trustless anymore. And and like I'd like to stand to like uh, make my way to be like next to Sato. Actually, if I'm here, I want to make my way and be like right. I'm make like still facing Noniko and be like towards this side. Yeah, you can do that. And then with uh, with our history, Noniko, whatever you are. <laughs> you don't belong in this body, this isn't yours. And... <sighs> With uh, my hand axe, I'd like to throw it at the one that's next to Rocky. Go ahead. <sighs> okay. <sighs> that hits. It, as like the hand axe flies through the air, it catches one of the horns cracking it and breaking off one of its horns as you hear it just splash into the water and erupt into white fire underneath. It turns you snarling with one of its mouths on the side of its back. And the eyes on its right side all turn to you, while the eyes on the left side focus on Rocky. Bro. Alright, that will be the end of my turn. I will pass uh, the... The... This, this is the... We're still in the first round, right? Yes. Okay. So tell she Rocky and Randall have another turn yet. Yeah. I will pass it to... Um, to Randall. Okay. Uh, on my turn, I'm uh, like, pretty shocked still. Randall is going to strike not uh, against the uh, Lodico, but against this uh, uh, the the monster in front of him mm -hmm. with his short sword. Uh, which, to those who don't know, this is pretty much like his own skin, but it's like an obsidian blade that is cracked and, and formed like crystal. Uh, he slashes into it. Oh, a twelve! That misses sadly. As you go to slash at it, it pulls a rock out of the side with its uh, like jimmying it with its club and then using that like catch your slash and to block it like as i'm being held there pretty much i'm just gonna look back at rocky and be like hopefully you guys can deal with that one i'm gonna need some help here so strike true rocky and give him uh the uh, benefit of the help action on his next attack yeah. and uh to you that now rocky for future reference, that feather means mastermind advantage. Rocky, you will also okay. have a minus d6 on your uh, first roll. Ooh, okay, uh, minus so d6 we... on it, and then... So what did Randall give me again? It's the... Uh... Advantage. It's an advantage, pretty much, yeah. Okay, and also, I'm supposed to still have my inspiration. I don't know what I wrapped to it, but I haven't used it yet. No, I see. I shall note that down for you. Uh, oh, I don't think it carried I'd... over. Negate it. Mm. Wait, you don't think it carried over... Oh, it like, carry over from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, okay, so I have minus six, but I have advantage right now. Yes. On my first attack. Okay, so on my, my I'm doing my, my two weapon fighting thing, as per usual with the uh, so my first uh, regular attack has the minus six, but advantage. Um, I guess I'll attack this this booger. Mm -hmm. This booger. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, from the, the nasal passages of the world. So twenty two minus six. Uh, 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 roll one, no, roll one. Oh, did you roll the one d6? Oh, oh no, 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 sorry. I for, I thought it was minus six already. No, no. It's basically just reverse body inspiration. Yeah, gotcha. oh, I thought it was always a d. Okay, nice. Okay, so it's well, okay, five, so, so, so 19. <laughs> 19. Or not, sorry, 17, 17, 17. 17 hits. Nice. 17 hits. All right, uh, go ahead and roll the damage on that bad boy. As <laughs> Seven. like you're propped up in the position you are, like just dodging the hammer strikes and lonely cause fire. And getting, uh, as like Lo-Fi Boys just uh, nearby, you just are able to use the advantage that, like, or the distraction that he created to get a very clean slash on one of its other horns. Dealing seven. All right. Yeah. And then my two weapon fighting attack, which is just regular, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, 21 to hit, I assume that hits. Uh, that is 15. 15. Uh, how does he look? It is Shrieks. looking bloodied. 
bloodied. Or, um, I say bloodied, you can see just like white fire dripping out of it. Gotcha. And right now there's him. There's now, like, this when... guy over here. There's three total right now. Yeah, is that... three total. Yeah. When the and white. It's lo... Sorry, I was going to describe like the white fire looks like dripping like liquid fire. And when it hits the water, it like just floats for a bit. Like the land. Gotcha. And it just is uh... shrieking as it's. Uh, as you're cutting into it. Okay. Then that will be the end of my turn. Who all hasn't gone yet? Satoshi has not gone. That's the only one that uh, I guess I'll pass it with Satoshi. Satoshi, seeing everything is happening, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and then runs and jumps into the water. Oh, buddy. <laughs> no. And you, can, you hear them furiously swim away. And what? Lofi will roll me perception. I'm not keep running. <laughs> On it. Are you kidding me? No, I think it's okay. I think I think there's a strategy behind this. The fat you don't you don't right see there. anything, but like. As soon as you see, as like in a half ass Satoshi dives into the water, you see flying out of the water a just a piece of uh, driftwood, like a huge chunk of driftwood that just comes flying out of the water and towards the Shibatan from where Satoshi's swimming as he's cast catapult on a piece of driftwood under the water. Oh, okay, well, thank God for that. <laughs> Holy! Is it DC 11? No, it's not, it's 15. The Shaban has to roll a deck save. He succeeds. So wow. he only takes half, I believe. Wait, he succeeds? I think yeah, it succeeds, yeah. yeah. Also it doesn't yeah, it doesn't take it doesn't take damage. Like you see the Shaban as it's on all six, it ducks into the, it like it puts his body into the water. And you just see this driftwood fly upwards towards the sky. Ah shit, you hear gargled. Uh, through bubbles out of the water. <laughs> and Satoshi then passes their turn back to Randall. Randall, the new Randall, started as the waves crash into the uh, the rocks. Can everyone... Yes. Um, Lo-Fi Boy, Rocky, with disadvantage, roll me a deck save. Uh, Randall, yeah. roll me a deck save. And Lonika, roll me a deck save, please. Do the yokai also do deck saves? They do. Oh, 26. Well. 26. Oh, what I'm six... glad I used some of those oh. bad rolls to fish. <laughs> <laughs> Who got below thirteen? What was what's wrong? Uh, I, uh, I I did disadvantage. Yeah, no, yeah, it's fine. Like, it, like you, no, it, we usually just take the one on the left. Usually on that case. Yeah, whatever's uh, like the, we... it, sh it like shows which one's uh, the darker color is the one that like failed or the one that you pick. So out of twenty two, yeah, sixteen, but... it picks sixteen. Well, that's not the issue. I'm just trying to figure out how I. Oh, on your I character rolled... sheet, you need to uh, go up at the top and click normal because uh, it says advantage, normal, and disadvantage. It's one of the yeah. highlighted red things. That's not what I'm confused about. I'm confused okay. of how I was able to get those because I rolled a seven and a five, and then that's a plus two. Did, did I get the seven and five? No, 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 no sorry. No, that, 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 that was the uh, low fives. fives. Okay, got it. Like, yeah, my yeah. dice managed. Oh, right. I, was so oh. I was like. Yeah, How is dice... a 7 and a 5 adding up to 22 and yeah. 16? Your okay. dice you are of orange. Yeah. Your dice are orange. But yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Lo-Fi Boy, you get... You are, like, struggling to, like... As, like, the waves crash into you, causing the entire... The arena to, um... To get, like... To, to um... Add, like, puddles and just dampen the, uh, the, the arena. You struggle to keep your footing from the force, and you... And you plummet into the water, uh, being knocked prone underneath. You, prone yeah, underwater. underwater, yes. And Interesting. Okay. In that moment, uh, Lone Eagle, you your fires feel weaker as the campfire is gone. It's been spluttered out. Uh, Rocky, you are fine. Um, Lone Eagle and Randall, you are perfectly fine. And the Oni all get knocked prone. I mean, the the, the Oni gets knocked prone. And the uh, the Shaban is uh, isn't affected, and this uh, Shaban isn't affected. Randall, it's your turn. 
Uh, I will just go for another strike away right away again. Please work this time. That hits. <laughs> oh, it hits. It damn well hits. Except, goddamn, this time Satoshi's not here for sneak attack. Oh, uh. baby. Damn it, Satoshi. You did kind of Shawshank me in the end there. <laughs> Eight damage on that, and uh, I'll turn around just to check on how Rocky's doing and seeing that he uh, is also staying strong. I'm gonna be like, "You gotta finish with that one soon, buddy, or else uh, <laughs> I don't know how much I can hold here." I got it. Don't worry. G giving him advantage. I'll pass it to you again, Rocky. All right. Uh, advantage on my first one. Yep. I'll go ahead and do the same thing that I normally do. That is uh, nice. 16 hit. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's. Uh, eight damage. Eight damage. And, and how is it looking? Is it looking it's, white fiery or? Yeah, still white. It is. The slashes are deeper and it's just falling apart in the water. It's like your uh, blade just trails through the water. This song is all right. Music. Then I'm going to do my my other bonus action attack. There's a 19 hits, I assume. Then that's. That's another 17 damage. Woo! Yeah, you, as you cleave into it, you cause a wave of fire, white fire, to just trail over the way, um, following mm -hmm. the waves, as you cut this Shabbaton, and you feel it, you see its body get pulled with the tide, and All just right. wreath the this side of the um, the arena in fire. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and move over by where Randall is. Mm -hmm. Did this guy? Yeah, uh, and you... then I'm gonna go do my uh, action surge and attack it. Yeah. After like just put a slashing at that one shot, and you turn using carrying your momentum with you, climb up the rocks and just make your way towards the giant only. Go ahead. Okay. Uh. It's... Twenty-six to hit. Oh baby. Uh, three eight damage. Eight damage. You, as Rocky comes to your rec rescue, Randall, you just see him just come out of nowhere and just cleave at the side cutting cutting a giant chunk out of the uh, the oni as it turns to him anything else you'd like boy to rocky I'm here to help you uh and so now it's uh lo-fi boy is prone <laughs> yes he right is. he's prone to the uh who has gone this turn only randall has gone only so far. randall on yourself yeah is there anything? Uh, can when we are prone, can you do anything, or do you have to have it get? No, you, you you can you can get yeah, up. You just like half your movement, movement to get up. Okay. Yeah. And it'll be then I'm less less concerned. Uh. Which is the funniest thing in the world in the rules to me. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it to. I want to pass it to this uh, uh this uh. E uh, Go ahead, yeah, the Shabbaton. Shabbaton, yeah, I was yeah. blanking on the name for a second. But yeah, no, the one in the water down there. With the club. As, like, you pass it over, you hear the wet sound of something climbing out of the water. And make climbing just like you did on the surface. You see the Shabbaton make its way up. And it begins to, in its mouth, uh, fire begins to start forming. And it just starts looking at you, uh, Rocky. Passing its turn to the Oni, who is going to slam its body into Rocky. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to do a... Because I didn't give, uh, put it down on the sheet. I'm going to quickly do actually. Give me a second, sorry. You're good. This five hit. <laughs> uh, Rocky, uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> the Oni is not having it today. It is not. Uh, as it tries to uh, bum rush into you, Rocky, you just completely evade it, ducking under its uh, under its right arm. But as you duck into it, it uh, swings its club at you, Randall. Um, if I can find the sheet because I closed it like a ding dong. Yeah, it's not. That also misses. It's not, not having it today. <laughs> and it 
just pushes itself away from you guys as like it um as it misses both attacks you both get attack of opportunity on it oh i'll definitely take that 17 21 i'm rolling hot today i don't <laughs> Oh, baby. Eight. 18 damage. 18. Does it include sneak attacks? Is that like a last through thingy? I can't remember if it does. Is it? Actually, is that true? Okay, yeah, good point, good point. Uh, Because I figured because... Okay, once per turn. I mean, like... If it doesn't <laughs> specify. I don't think it's... Spe I think it's just an attack. Oh, wait. It's an attack on my turn. No worries. Both of you use just. No, wait, wait. Once per turn. Once per turn. Cool, yeah, no worries. As it makes its way away from you, as like Rocky, um, you both look at each other in this moment. And with the just fighting prowess and like just the fighting chemistry you've, you've built amongst each other, you both just know where, the, where each of you are moving with um, watching each other's movements. And you both do this mirror attack on the only slashing um the top half and the bottom half cleaving into three pieces as it tries to make its way away from you and as it you just cut into it like paper you see it tripper over itself as the shabbaton over here tries to uh, uh breathe fire at both of you if you want to roll a deck save for me oh god uh, before 11. that happens, I just like I'm like good job, brother. Oh, as you, yeah, 20. as you turn, you see, nice. You take minimum damage, and because of the high tide effect, you take zero damage. Oh, you take no damage baby. for that. You completely just like pull yourself away, but not fast enough to take Rocky with you. But Rocky, luckily, with the just with the dampened stage effect, you only take two damage from that. As the Shabbat okay. looks at itself happily after you get caught in this fire. It is then gonna pass its turn to Lonico. Uh, has the Shibatan taken any damage yet? The little one it has now. Come at me, bad. <laughs> <laughs> you stay in the water, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am going to... Can I cast Entangle you can. on Rocky? Yes. No, actually, you cannot. <laughs> Rocky and uh, Randall roll a strength check for me. God! So many checks, so little I'm time. I'm so weak. Oh, s s wait, we're at 12. Okay, I'm okay, okay, never mind. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, you are. Are. Randall, spell save Lucy's not 19. Randall and the Shabbat are not able to just kind of like put, like step away in like spots where the roots aren't wrapping. Oh, what, how do you describe, what do you want to describe your title? Like, what does it look like? Because I don't know if you want it to be roots. Um... No, I, I, I guess it's more thorny than roots, mm -hmm. um, I suppose. Like, you know um, those really, like, hard, um, like, rose stems that, how they get when they, like, dry out? Yeah. <laughs> Just these thick, old, black, um, branch-like um, vines. <sighs> covered in thorns lash out of the ground rocky um they almost like, like erupt like a volcano out of the ground as they swirl around your feet and to, to latch onto you and you feel these thorns just inch into your um or pinch into your uh, your skin and um tangle onto your um onto your clothes restraining you to the ground dang you are restrained rocky and I'll give the opposite bardic inspiration to Randall. Ah. Randall, you have a minus d6 on you. Thank you. <laughs> um, who hasn't been? Satoshi, uh, Lone, and Lopoi Boy. 
give it to Lo-Fi Boy. Go ahead, Lo-Fi Boy is your turn. Alright. Um, I'd like to uh, get up. Yeah. Then spend uh, 15 of my movement. Uh, all of my movement left to. Yeah, it takes. Like, it's double. Here. Bear in mind, under the water, it is double movement. Um, oh, it's double movement. Okay, so let me just move. Uh, uh, how many? Much? So 10 feet per right? tile, yeah. So you've already spent 15. So, so you can move 15. one tile. Unless you dash. Okay. No, that's okay. I, I, I don't. I actually don't even need to move uh, too much. Let me just move one tile. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to um, summon the Stone Kamainu uh, from underneath me. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. You, uh, Rocking Randall, you see, you hear the ground grumble, uh, where you see Lo-Fi Boy's metallic oh. body just walk under the ground as his body gets thrown up out of the water as a giant stone lion um, with giant green gemstones in its eyes and on its forehead ma- um, push itself out of the water with Lo-Fi Boy mounted on top of it. And it roars, causing the ground to shake as uh, Lo Nico in this feral state also growls back at the Kamaino. So what I want to do is, uh, with it, I'd like to... I basically want to end up uh, jumping onto Lo Nico with the Stone Kamaino. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that could be a pass. If- yeah, yeah, I just need to... How much movement for me to, to get out of the water just to get a bit of running? That would cost 20, because it, it would set 10 from here. Yeah. And so... Uh, then I'd be able to do another 10 like so, and then I'd be able to run straight into her, I think. Because I have 50 with it, and the pounce is 20 feet. Uh, Let's see. Might not be enough. Mm, I don't know, I don't think it will work, but... I think it's too tight, but... No, I think you get it. it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, then I do it, and then, like, I charge in with the... Uh, pouncing on Lonico. Lonico, roll me a strength save. What's the Kamai News uh, strength modifier? It's a 13. Sorry, I was on the wrong machine. <laughs> no worries. No worries. <laughs> you fail as Lonico, your body crashes into the ground as the stone Kamai New has pounced on top of you. Does this count as getting hit? <laughs> it does. And as a bonus action, uh, when the target is prone, mm-hmm. uh, it will make a bite attack. Yeah, this is what you Okay, but... yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you... Yeah, as you oh. pounce on top of her and get a bite in on her, you can roll damage. God damn it! You see, you, your Kamaino bites at one of the tails, and as soon as it bites into the tail, you see a flash. If you could roll for me, uh, Heat Wave, uh, low, uh, or if roll Thunder Wave for me, uh, Georgia. This is so cool, by the way! Oh my god! This is so cool! <laughs> I love this! I'm glad. I would never have seen this coming in 10,000 years. Good. I had. We've, this has been planned for so long. It's been spoil. a very long time. Like I think, like, like I think one session had passed of like, like tasks, like all together, and we were like, yeah, let's do this. Um, <laughs> roll. A co- <laughs> can uh, the Kamainu and Lo-Fi Boy roll a con save? And yeah. 
Don't I have to roll a con save? Yes, you can. Yes, please. Okay. And yeah, uh, but yeah, you teleport uh, away um, yeah. with your fiery <laughs> with your fiery staff. Is the is the only still there or is that dead? That only still there. Oh shit! No, yes, okay. you're right. Sorry. That I one thought you died. died. That one's <laughs> okay. gone. He cut into three pieces and it lived. <laughs> Yeah, so I like the idea that I just got really cocky, by the way, <laughs> because of the freaking dodging of all this stuff, and then this happens. <laughs> as, like, a wave, like, as you, uh, the commander, bite into the tail, a flash of fire uh, surges from Loniko once again. As, as she just turns into nothing, as, like, combusts in thin air, um, and t taking form further, a few feet away from you, with the fire surging out of one of her eye holes. As you can see in the other eye, what once was a target, you, for a brief moment, see Loniko's golden eye. Loniko! And then shift back into the eyes of the thousand strangers and the yokai. As you, uh, Lofi boy, lo you all take five damage because of the dampened state of the arena as the heat um, hits you. Ah! How does the recharge? Uh, you need work? to roll a. When you want to use it, you just need to roll a d um, six, and if you okay. land on the number, you take you take that. Okay. Oh, well, by the way, I can't see the stones uh, Komainu uh, health, and it seemed that like the previous fights health had carried over to it. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm fixing Thanks. that. Thanks. Sorry. I, uh, I. That seems to be an issue that that stone Komainu always just has. Just give me a second. Oh, there's a raid. There you up. Oh, there's a raid. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for the oh, raid. Wow, Tales. hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Vibin. Uh, we're playing Throne Top Sands, a, um, a very anime D&D campaign where one of the characters, Lolito, <laughs> The shaman bard, during her ascension to shaman dome, has uh, transformed into ascended Loniko, which is that of Loniko and her kitsune uh, uh, Yuki uh, merging together to start attacking the party, who are fighting um, for their lives on this. Uh, beach as the tide has and risen. We're also going through a reunion and simultaneously, like, <laughs> I like a think... meeting. Thank you, like, this is my, I think this is my <laughs> first time here, folks. I want to point out. <laughs> and this is the encounter. That's Sorry. I literally, like, five minutes prior to this, was just like, "Don't worry, Lonico, I'll be, I'll be with you." I know. Thing. And this happens like, holy crap! We're really testing that. We're really mm -hmm. testing that right now. Yeah, no, thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, we're going to go back into session, but bear in mind, uh, just so you know, there are chat redemptions where you can hinder and help the party during the session. Don't say hinder more first. minions. Don't say hinder. No! no. <laughs> yeah, you can, need more minions. You can summon do that. below Nico, or you can cause a tide to rise again and dampen the arena, causing fire damage to go by half or around. Or you can, uh, you can just cause just a bunch of damage to just happen to everyone because of sudden heat waves. Or you could, or you, you could know. heal the group. Or you could do that kind of thing. That would be you don't awesome. Need healing, you're Thank fine. you for the Snowy929. Don't need healing, dude. Look, look, look at me. Yeah, back to the session. Uh, Loniko, it's your turn. I am going to quickly just do this. As you teleport, and like the sudden just sir eruption of fire, you teleport away, causing the Kamayu and Lo Fi and Randall to all just take a sudden blast of fire uh, from, from your heat wave. As you just spin into uh, for out of nothingness, uh, a few feet away. I it, think it would be Satoshi's turn afterwards, though. Excuse after, me, I'm uh, sorry. Actually, I haven't even finished my turn, though. Yeah, no, you're still you turn, yeah. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Oh, you said she turned. I thought you were saying it was her turn. I'm so oh, yeah. sorry. I'm such Being a dumb. I'm also <laughs> just gonna draw where the entangle is, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Because it's a pretty big space, I think. Yes, 20 feet. I could put like a 20 feet on uh, run, uh... So, what I'm going to do as a bonus action is I'm going to uh, make the um, Discord's back uh, light bolt to shoot out of my 
chest once more. Mm -hmm. And this time I'm, om I'm aiming at uh, Lonico. Go ahead. And so she would need to do a another con save. Would you want me to con save Lonico? It's not a. Uh, sorry, Sam, I made it. It's, it's, it's that size. It's, it's oh, you made it a different size? Yes, yeah, a bit short. Oh, okay. I, I think I did radius, not like square. H, you miss. Okay. Uh, this time, okay. Lonico, as you appear, uh, describe, you want to describe your attack? Well, the thing that's interesting is that the target becomes blinded until yes. the start of their next turn. And so, what I imagine is that uh, with my glitch sword, I actually make it um, like pass in front of the beam so that it turns into a bunch of tiny little scattered beams. That would like go between all the different eyes. Mm. Perfect. Yeah, like it just like refracts off uh, your slash, um, off your sword, and like as like it, you see um, the light goes straight into the hollows of her eyes, and Lonico in that moment howls as um, as the this conduit for these lust spirits just struggles to search its uh, seed surroundings as it takes form once more um, mm -hmm. moment, uh, further away from you guys um, how much damage is that? Uh, that would be 6 radiant damage Six. anything else you'd like to do? Satoshi, you see, is still like you can just about like, see Satoshi with the height you have, swimming towards a driftwood, and then picking it out of the water. Um, when he's when sorry when they swim, they are elegant and graceful, um, and their scarf almost looks like fins as they swim, and their hair, um, they look as if like they are one with the wave, and like their hair grows with like their, their the water is their hair in this moment as they come out of the water carrying a giant plank of a um, a long uh, forgotten uh, crashed ship and then just lifts it out of the water like I got it who's next <laughs> searching and then seeing you facing shooting your beam of light at low Nico Satoshi does you you can see this hesitation on their face in that moment but like in in this fight for survival they, there's only, it feels it's got to be done. And they catapult the driftwood at low, uh, low Nico. Uh, if you would like to roll for me, um, attack save, uh, low. There's a lot of saves this fight, I have to say. You completely <laughs> dodge. As the driftwood comes within even five feet of you, you see just engulfing fire. And it just drops beside, um, beside her. A burning tiny wisp. Satoshi's gonna pass the turn to Randall. Boy, okay. Uh, and I. So, wait, what happened? I, I, since I succeeded with the entangle, am I just it's good just, with yeah, that, you, for that still, turn? Or, like, no, is you're it good, still difficult or, terrain right now? It's just difficult terrain for a minute. Okay. Oh, shit. Hello, Nico. You have to roll me an intelligence check. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. There's a lot of a lot of saves. All good. Uh, intelligence. Save. Sorry. Save. And... Nineteen. You are perfectly fine. That entangled stays up. So it's still difficult to read. 15, 20, 20, 30. Okay, so I am going to run over and strike at the, this uh, Shabbaton. Do they have? Do I have advantage because they're? messed up by it or is that a thing no nah, they're not entangled okay so then this is just normal oh, fi oh i mean 15 maybe 15 hits okay and sneak attack because rocky's within five feet oh okay well i mean it's still good but yeah. woo 
11 it, damage. You get a few good cuts on it, and it's trying to like dodge your slashes, but you see also just stepping on the thorns, and it's it's just yelping in pain as like that's happening around it. And, and then, uh, I, I mean, I'll, uh, I think this is specifically for attacks with my 30 feet away, but uh, I'll, I'll just kind of look to, look to Rocky and be like, Rocky, like, pull yourself out of there, man. We gotta, we gotta stop Lonico. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I will pass my turn to you, Rocky. All right. So right now I'm stuck in, um. You're stuck in the out. middle of the brambles. Yeah. I would like to also note that you you can see the tide pulling away from the um, from the hills um, to the uh, above. And the tide is uh, going to, by the end of next turn, or by the start of next turn, the tide will have uh, pulled back. Um, yes, All right. You, have, uh, <clears throat> you will have to, on your turn, at the end of your turn, uh, roll a strength check. You cut out what? I'll have to do what? On the end of your turn, you'll have to roll a strength check just to see if you, uh, you're you free. Okay. Oh, no, you have to use an so, action to... Uh, you can use an action to try and break free, or you just, like, have to kind of attack in that space. Sorry, yeah, so can we can we say... I'll, I'll look into this action, sorry. Uh, did we, did you, can you use I'm, help action to aid an alien attacking? Right. Never mind, then. never mind. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attack help. the yokai, I guess. I mean... Uh... Trying to look real quick to see if. Satoshi did fall and picnic back blanket. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the I was like, right in front of our picnic, like, in the battle, like, come on. You were just you sitting in eating picnic. food. I imagine, like, it's a picturesque, picturesque painting of, of this just madness happening. Yeah, no, it's. Right in front of yeah. my spaghetti. I am going to do my uh, fighting spirit, which gives me advantage on. This is a bonus action. I'm doing this to it gives me advantage on my next uh, my, my or my action this turn, um, and also gives me five temporary HP. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna fight. Am I able to do the two-handed fight? Yeah, uh, as long as you don't okay. move, like you can use your you can do what if you want, but like while restrained, you can't move. Okay, but I'm able to fight this guy, attack yeah, this guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Then... Uh, 14 hits? Don't hit. say that, Matt. Don't say that. 14 hits. Perfect. That's 13 damage? 13. You oh. just cleave it in half completely. <laughs> Sick. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do because I'm stuck in here and I don't have another action. Let's try to escape. Who's all gone this round? Uh, just Satoshi. I mean, just Randall. Randall and then me, and then I'll go ahead and pass it to a low. Oh no, because if I pass it to Lo Fi. Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and pass it to Lo Fi. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to uh, use the Komayu's uh, uh, movement again, and it will pounce once more. On uh, Lonico. Go ahead. Oh god, though. And so that will be another, I think, strength save. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I, I think the strength was. Oh, yeah, no, it's uh, not her problem. Oh, wait, but it's. Huh? Strength save to knock her prong. I, I was, I was, I, I can't, I was trying to remember his mouse. You knock up prone. Okay. Yeah, you just and... like, once again, on top of Lonico, the Kamainu is just trying to tear at the tails of fire. Mm. I would actually have, would have commanded it not to attack anymore. Okay. Uh, and then it started just... My rage, actually, also, like, the, the part of my chest, which was open, like, folds back on itself. Mm-hmm. I believe. Uh, or did I? Did the bonus action count as an attack towards a hostile creature? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but then, as a bonus action, I, then I, I just I would end my rage, um, trying to just hold a little nickel down, mm -hmm. and 
What I want to do out of rage now would be to. Oh, you would. She, she would add disadvantage on that. Uh, no, wait, no. Continue, sorry. Does you have advantage while she's blind? Yeah, and I have. Uh, uh, I can't believe I'm using this on Nico. This is so weird. But I have uh, 20 feet of chains with manacles. Mm -hmm. And so uh, with the self combined new like holding the prone Lonico down, I drop chains around her and tie them with the manacles basically. Yeah. While in the state, she does you you she struck like you're like she is shrieking and howling like a banshee in this moment. Like this is not Loni like that is not Lonico's voice behind the mask right now. As you can see, the eyes staring at you and trying to like uh, break free. Uh, as you as, as you chain her, um, and, like, uh, restrain her, you see her eyes shift back to Loniko's eyes. Uh, one is fire just burning, the other is uh, her golden eye, and you see the stars twinkle in it, looking at you, and you can see tears begin to well. I, I also start crying and say, don't worry, we'll get you out of this. Anything um, else? Mm, I, mean, uh, mm, no, no, not, well, no, I, I would then pass my initiative to, uh, Satoshi's saying, wait, don't, don't, don't throw anything just yet. I, I think whatever's happening is under control for now. Give me a second. Who do you want to pass your turn to? Satoshi. Satoshi. Satoshi is now gonna, once again, get more driftwood and then swim towards this platform and get on top of it. They will then see you on top of uh, Lo Nico um, and chaining her. They're just, they're gonna ready their action that if she does try to do anything, she's gonna catapult this driftwood at her. And then they're gonna pass it to Rocky. Um, has Rocky has, Rocky's done his turn, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah but... no, it will be Lonico. And Lonico would regain sight now. Lonico, you are back. You it is your turn. And as like you see your your you start crying, Lofi Boy, the eyes turn back to those strange eyes. Lonico, it's your turn. Am I blind still? Or? Not anymore. Okay. Can I cast heat wave? You can. Roll a con save, uh, Kamainu, and, um... Can I cast it at level 2? You can. I'm using my shield. <laughs> Just saying. A con save? Mm-hmm. The Kamainu also has a roll one as well. Yeah. And uh, as I, I'm receiving it, I, I'm, I'm saying like, you'll have to do better than this if you think this will make me go away. As you say that, the dampness of the air and like the um, the rock evaporates as Lo Nico's fire just surges, and you see she's shrieking and howling as she's trying to break free from the chains, and her tails start growing and growing and turning a sickly, ghostly green as her form shifted once more. I'm just going to do this. And as it shifts this, her fire burns even hotter. And you see your chains melting away and just turning into molten iron, circling around Lonico as you take 9 heat damage and the Kamainu only takes takes half of that and yeah, I believe 
Uh, Lofa, would you get pushed off your Kawaii from the heat? Uh, as the Kawaii is still in place, but you are pushed back from the just the force oh. of the fire. Yeah, yeah, I was probably already off uh, having tied the chains around her. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, you get knocked back 10 feet. Yeah. And uh, you can. Is anything else you want to do, though, Nico? As you um. have four blobs of molten uh, fire form at your feet. Has it been everyone's turn this round? Yes, so you or... can pass it back to yourself if you wish. Go ahead, cool. <laughs> oh, um, <man. laughs> um, I'll probably do that. Is the Kamainu still on top of me? The yeah, the Kamainu's still on top of you. As you're in the state you are, as, as like um, the Kamainu's on top of you, you see these fires circle around you. And you see them growing arms and turning white and green and growing eyes and limbs. They form into a few, uh, a few things. Oh, God, I hate seeing the Death Star laser come my direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the fires that was in the water sprout into a uh, kappa. Great. A monkey-like snake creature, chimera creature, climbs out, turning, climbs out of the fire uh, around you, Lonico. And these three turn into Suiko. Firefish. These ones are some of my favorite art. I'm so cute! I, really, I, really I love like them Suiko. so much! Die! <laughs> <laughs> I love their heads. Like you, you captured like the like the squiddy head thing. Perfect. Uh -huh. It is. Yeah. Um, Lonico, is your turn. Um, can I stand on the bit? This bit is that fine? Yeah. Or is yeah. That sort of that's that's right. It will become okay. difficult terrain though. Also, hello, I'd Dragon Rush. Hello, Cinder. Not, though. You guys should use channel points <laughs> to help with the, in the fight. There's layer actions and healing choices if you want to. Okay, I'm going to uh, Misty Step uh, out from under the Kumainu. Go ahead. Once I again, the Kumainu. Um, <laughs> you see Lonico just turn into a tiny Good sliver Lord. of fire that just bursts in your space, uh, Rocky and Randall. As <sighs> on all fours, she casts a terrifying silhouette as her mask almost warps uh, in the fire sheen around her becoming her mask doesn't but like you see the fire take form of like a snout as she takes a stronger fox silhouette i'm then going to multi-attack randall go ahead uh that's the claw one words i never thought would be cool <laughs> miss <laughs> Oh, miss, so oh thank god. Miss. Oh boy. It's literally just Randall like ducking and jumping up above <laughs> an attack like, woo! The slippery boy. Any uh, message that's, I can do, Lonika? Uh, no, that's, that's all I can do. You can pass it to um, your yokai or you can pass it to any of the other fight. Uh, yeah, I'll pass it to the big boy Kappa. Why not? Perfect. Oh man! <laughs> The Kappa is going to climb out of the water and grab onto the Kamainu's face and then just start um, swiping at it and then sweeping it with its tail. Oh, it isn't going to sweep its tail, sorry. It is going to bite it with its uh, peck and do two claw attacks on it. Uh, can it, as a reaction, um, I don't know... Uh... I don't know because of the the, the, the the critical the map twenty, but like, can it cast shield as a reaction still when it takes? If it's a reaction, yeah, it can still. By an attack, yeah. Oh no, it's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Plus five. Yeah, because of the nat twenty, it doesn't have uh, that effect. But it gains eight. Calls afterwards, though. Yeah. So yeah, it succeeds all of those against a twenty in its AC. Yeah. Uh, as like you see it, like the emerald, um, its green crystals glitter and glow and form into a 
um, just a strange crystal-like shield around it that circles around it as it um, gets pecked on the forehead by the kappa. It takes 11 damage as it then uh, braces itself from the other attacks and uses its shield to push back the kappa from any further attack. And it's then going to pass its turn to the Suiko, who are going to throw water balls of moldy water at Rocky. That poor oh, guy. <clears throat> Cool. Any of those hit? No. Uh, 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 13 and the 14 hit, so the second two. Do they? Hit. Yeah, my AC sucks. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, as this water, as these water bolts fly past low Nico, you see them begin to. Not evaporate, but like diminish in size. And so instead of dealing their normal amount of damage, they are slightly weaker, but you do get just this nasty smell of uh, molding water just splash over you. And you hear it sizzle and evaporate off you immediately, causing the stench to even to linger on your clothes as it, um, as it seeps in. Old dang. It is now. They are gonna move. They're gonna jump into the water. But the, the stomp command you get an attack of opportunity. It is, it's focusing on the kappa. I see, I see. And the new way is going to target you, Lok. Yeah. And like a bolt of lightning, it charges towards you with all three heads turned in on you, making two bites and one slash. Yeah, go like, on. I'm not even looking at it, I'm just, like, staring at, like, um, little Nico, and with my offhand shield, I'm just blocking, like, the attacks. Yeah, no, yeah, like, you, the Nue is trying to bite through, but your shield, the, like, the flowers, I mean, the leaves on your shield spin, blocking it every time, as if, like, it's one with your instincts. And you completely, you are just holding it back without any issue in this moment. The new way is then going to pass its turn to Satoshi, who is going to fire its catapult at the new way. As the tide begins to start pulling itself away from the shores again, as I uh, mentioned earlier, it's decreasing. In like a very ominous way or like... Roll insight or nature. Okay, Actually, roll, roll no roll nature, proceed. not insight. Nature. Ah, uh, <laughs> way fails the catapult, and you just so you just see this piece of driftwood fly into it, and just completely crash into an ex an explosion of white splinters, just pass over you, and um, you can see one of the tails of the new way has just exploded into white fire. What did you get, Samuel? I only got five. a five, so it's you... okay. I don't know anything. Surprise! I would say with with your with being a sailor, you get proficiency on that, but it isn't enough to do to do anything. So um, you you want to focus you, on the fight. Yeah, there's too much like happening, and you feel like if anything, it might just be magic that's causing the tides to react this way. Satoshi's gonna pass the turn to Randall. Randall, help Lofi. Uh, help yourself. Uh, I no. mean, I'm kind of stuck back here. <laughs> I don't know how much of this you can Just see. Take care of your stuff, Randall. Can I grab Lonico? Mm -hmm. Like... <laughs> and I, I, I just want to throw her into the water here. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go down with her. I'm gonna go down with her. Like I'm gonna <laughs> plunge into the water with her. Good. Roll strength. Okay. I'm not great at that either. 
but and then the strength save let's on see what happens. God damn! It, it could be worse. Yeah. Low Nico could get real bad. <laughs> no. Is it a strength won't. save or a dex save? Uh, strength save, please. Oh, you want blinded as well? Nope, but she struggles. Yeah. She actually pushes you into the water. <laughs> you just see as you're tr grab, trying to grab onto it, she just pushes you with so much force that like you you be you're surprised. Like you you've just met this girl, so you assume this is just like this child just does this sometimes. Yeah, I have no idea what, like the context here. I'm yeah. like, what? Is going so on? you just like you're surprised. She's with got this. imaginary friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's having a tantrum. <laughs> And that imaginary get... friend quickly became real. <laughs> Maybe you could just manifest your thoughts. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Uh, I know I... Okay, so like then my action's pretty much gone, right? No, you still have your turn. You still have your turn. You, you have lost your action, though. Okay. Um. I mean, I can't really see anything, but I mean, like... I'll, I'll lo yell at Lo-Fi Boy for the... Uh, to strike at that <laughs> at that uh, monkey guy and finish him up quicker mm -hmm. and uh and then i'll pass my turn to rocky so you get uh you will get the advantage on your turn low five boy okay thank you all right um and i guess i fight lonico i don't want to none of my attacks i want to like i'm not trying yeah. to kill by any means yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do what I normally do, uh, one-handed, uh, 19 hit. That hits. Uh, 13 damage. When you uh, go I'll... to slash, you are pulling back, but when your blade hits the fiery sheen around her, you notice she doesn't flinch or react, but you, f you see... You do see the fire in one of her tails, like just kind of like break for a second and then form back. So you you feel like it does invigorate. Like maybe like this isn't as long as that sheen is there, you aren't hurting her within. Okay. Okay. You know. Gotcha. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my next attack or my bonus attack. Uh. 12 hit? That misses. Doubt it. Yeah. But when you go for the second uh, uh, slash, you see low, still on all fours, she just ducks it under that and bites at your blade. And you see it begin to start turning black from the heat. And then white gotcha. and red. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay. Well. Anything else? Uh, that's the end of my turn. Who? Oh my goodness. Randon and Satoshi and low Nico have had their turns. I think Lo-Fi is the only one that hasn't. I'm going to go oh. ahead and do Lo-Fi then. Because he's in a predicament. I need to... What did you say, Sam? Nothing. I just mean I think we're going to screw ourselves here, but we're okay. We're okay. As and so... as like that happens, the tide pulls away. You are no longer underwater, Lo uh, Samuel. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> but you see, as you like, yeah, as you splutter the water out of your mouth, as like the tide pulls away very fast, you see three sweet are making their way towards you with daggers out. <laughs> Love five boy, it's your turn. And then yeah. I just like deadpan. Ugh. <laughs> with the uh, running uh, leap, uh, the stone command would uh, run like. Pretty much like in front of me, and then up over me, uh, jump 25 feet up until this position. Mm -hmm. It will get attacked by uh, Yeah. And it, as a reaction, it would also cast shield. Um, uh, if it's hit, that is. It hits. Uh, Okay. As your Komaiu runs away yeah. from the Kappa, you just see it get one good swipe in, and you see the shield break and crack as the Komaiu then gets a swipe on the back of it by like this finned, uh, webbed claw. And it almost turns into a punch. And as it hits and makes impact with the Komaiu, you see it just get 
cut in three places in its uh, in its tail as the tail crumbles and breaks off and it just shrinks and just falls apart uh -huh. okay. no your combining has broken well not broken oh. not broken but yeah. like it's, it's turned into its tiny form yeah yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> Advantage. With advantage, thank you. Hey. hey! I really like the song for this fire, I have to say as well. No. Yeah. You Keep that in mind for when I animate the show. Mm. <laughs> when? <laughs> One day. You put like as your eyes turn red, you almost get like this scan vision in your in your eyesight for a second, and like you just like pinpoint a few various weak points on the new way, specifically the one snakehead that's exploded. You you can assume that taking off one of the other tails will help in reducing its uh, ferocity to want to bite. So you go to slash at one of the tail heads, cutting them off, leaving only one left and it snarls at you with its snake head and you see acid just spit at you that zaps and turns to lightning that just gets caught by your shield anything else um i whoa you, know you, you evolve into a train <laughs> first he was a tree now he's a train <laughs> <laughs> it's going to thunder wave. As an attack of opportunity? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll a deck save for me. Like, obviously, I'm fucking focusing on it. I'm just I'm saying, like, I'm not just like, definitely, like, <laughs> yeah, no, because you, yeah, you moved out of the range. Yeah, to yeah, fight yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no worries. No, I'm just saying, like, in character, like, I'm still yeah. keeping on it. Like, oops, not advantage. Did you see that weird perspective, like, where, like, it went big as it came closer to the screen, or was that just me? I don't know if I did, actually. I, I don't, know. don't know my... That's awesome. Blocked. No worries. You fail that. Uh, so you take... Yeah, I do. You... As you go to grab onto the, um, the, the stone combine, you see the new way turn to you, and its hair start surging. Um, and like sparking as a blue light just flares out of it and it catches you and you just get pushed back by the force of it grabbing onto the Kamainu you just tumble and roll to the edge of this, um, this platform into sight of the cap as it begins to climb up anything else you want to do lo-fi boy you're not prone that was just for dramatic effect <laughs> <laughs> okay um, how much damage should I take from that? 14, I've already taken it. 30, thunder. You can't, you can't use your, your bullshit barbarian stuff on this. I assume. Oh, my health wasn't updating. 
Was it not? It's, it's seven. You're on seven hit points for me. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah, you're low, buddy. I see 40 out of 40. Oh. Yeah, it was doing that for me uh, last week. Oh. You what did seven? I take damage before? You've been taking damage. You've been taking a lot of damage, dude. <laughs> I wasn't even seeing it. I'm so dang. Yeah. So, <laughs> so screwed. You've been yeah, hit by several right. thunder waves at this point. Yeah, dude, you've been getting, like, blown around everywhere. I, I told you help, Lo-Fi boy! <laughs> oh, but, like, I thought my help was fine. I thought I had, like, tanked all the hits. My AC. <laughs> SMH. <laughs> SMH. <laughs> oh, man, we just got, we just got everyone back together, man. That's okay. Oh now, okay, I don't want to be that no. guy. Is 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 this guy and Lonico going to be affected by that thunder wave or no? Which guy? Oh, well, this guy in front of me and then Lonico. It's it is not that big, is it? No, it's the thunder wave was only here. foot. No, it's a cube. But like, yeah, originally, it's a cube. So it only hits this square, this square, and this square. I see. Okay. Right, I have to give my initiative to someone. I'm so sorry, I was still shook from the thunder wave. Uh... I believe Randall and you are the ones I've had your turn, so. Uh, I like how everyone's uh, passing Randall first, I could like. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna give it to the, the Kappa in front of me. <laughs> it will happily take it and it will try and attack you. Why would you do this, man? Because I don't know what else to do, and everyone else. Already in fucked situations, might as well. It goes for a claw attack on you. <laughs> Which misses. Oh, thank god. Holy. And then. Apex. Which misses. You are lucky and able to survive as it just like tries to <laughs> reposition itself, climbing up the surface, still like trying to like just peck down at you like a giant yeah. bird of prey. <laughs> Take but, it. like, the, the you are lucky of that was so, like, yeah. the DM coming in and being like, you are <laughs> lucky is what that is. Yeah. The new way is now going to do its turn, and seeing Satoshi calling for help, the new way okay. is going to zap. And, like, lightning, it doesn't even, like, like runs on the air. It just zigzags towards Satoshi. And then upon, like, appearing, like, a, a cloud of smoke, you see... You hear Satoshi just mutter, oh no, as it comes towards him. Oh, uh, no, oh. I haven't seen what it's rolled, but like, when. It's still good, but like, it, it always almost goes to a 20 like that. When Satoshi, like, uh, when the new way gets in range of Satoshi, you see it just bursts into a cloud of black smoke. The sparks and thunders, and then you just hear Satoshi just get uh, shocked. Um, but like, kind of like, grit. Almost like like they not yelp. They shriek for a moment, and then they just got like you hear them like grit their teeth and um, try to stomach the pain. And they are gonna do a. It's not a reaction, so they can't do anything. Never mind. Nope, they can't do anything. It is they're gonna uh, the new way is gonna pass their turn to the Suikos, and they're gonna make their way for you, Rocky, and stab you. Oh dang! No, Rocky, sorry. Uh, right, Randall. it happened. That's the first one. Put in the, put it in the mix-up jar. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! We'll be able to earn a pizza. Yo, don't tempt me, dude. <laughs> he's like yeah, like he's we've been talking pizza way too much this week. You say that, and I'm like, oh, man, I gotta order a pizza tonight. <laughs> Two are going to stab at you, and then one's going to like just throw a water wall, like a snowball at point blank range. Oh, that hits me directly in the face. Yep. Yeah. The two daggers are to distract you, but then like this one jumps over and it smacks it on top of your hat. And you just get just drenched in this moldy ass water, taking nine damage. That stinks. And evaporates in lonely Uh, mind. Can I? I'm going to use my bonus action, or my reaction, reaction. sorry, to half that damage, actually. Half so? My lad. Uh, with... Just cause. <laughs> what is it called? Where is it? Just cause. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so I feel like I'm it. I'm Danny Dodge. I'm gonna like. Yeah, you can actually like you like, use your hat on. I'm to gonna redirect. stick my. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was gonna stick oh. my hand out and uh, block it. But oh no, yeah, do that. Yeah, hand. yeah, do that. And just put like the the little bit comes through, but <laughs> it's like yeah. no. Ah, oh, dang. Water. Yeah, like, no, no, I can't get my clothes wet. <laughs> but Uncanny Dodge comes in for the rescue. I gotta remember to do that more. <laughs> They're gonna pass it to Low Nico, who in that moment begins to start turning red and orange again. And you can see, Rocky, um, a crack begin to form over the uh, the left eye hollow, the one that doesn't have the fire pouring out of it. And you see her golden eye uh, look back at you, and a tear seep through the crack. Fight this, Lonico, you got this. Oh, there you, you want to do my lot? Sorry. Okay, he got everybody got quiet. I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, I think it's, it's your turn. Oh, it's yeah. Lone Nico's turn. Sorry, no, I, oh, sorry, so I just described to <laughs> and like we just blanked out. Lone Nico's your turn, sir. Um, uh, has the Kappa taken any damage? The Kappa has not taken a single hit. I'm going to try and multi-attack Rocky. <laughs> my, my terrible uh, rolls. I don't why like I like scroll down to chase. <laughs> I went to chase the dice just then. I sc <laughs> scroll. I did the same thing just then, Kaz. Like was it? <laughs> you sadly, yeah. Lonico misses both those attacks again. Um, if you want to try and recharge any of your things, you can roll a d6 on that as well. If you were the real Lonico, you probably would have been able to hit me, but you're fake Lonico. <laughs> ah, there, there he is. There's our rocket. Lonico. Lonico. Lonico, Lonico. Yeah, Lonico. 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 Lonico melee attacks is always bad. Um, mm. I'll, I'll give a Bardic, uh, bad Bardic mm -hmm. to Randall. To yourself. Bart. <laughs> You can take a you can take a minus d6 on Randall on your next hit. Farts, farts, farts. Uh, who's wow. been this round? I believe that is the end of that round, and so it's now a new round. Did did I go this round? Did yeah, this wait. Been? Rocky may not be yet. Yeah. Uh, Rocky, your turn, sorry. I think it's the Is it my turn? Uh, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm looking through the log real quick. I think yeah. I don't think I've gone. Yeah, Rocky, it's your turn. I'm so used to Randall passing to me. If Randall didn't pass to me, I, I, I assume I didn't go. Sorry, yet. sorry, <laughs> sorry, I, sorry. I should have been keeping notes on this one. I, I didn't. I wasn't keeping notes on the. On the oh. Shit. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a note now. Uh, yeah, Rocky. I okay. believe yeah. someone in chat maybe knows. But, Lonico, uh... Lonico's had a turn. Randall's had his turn. Because Randall's always first. Satoshi mm. passed it to Randall. Yeah, Rocky, it's your turn. Okay. Um. Well, I guess I'm gonna fight. I mean, <laughs> I got no thing. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, a uh, normal. You know how I normally do. That's a 19 to hit. I assume it hits. Mm -hmm. That is. Uh, good low, Nico. Roll 12. Just check for me as well. Oh yeah. That's 12 damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll go ahead and do my my two. Oof. My second thing, my bonus attack, I should say. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 hits. I assume my hits. That is 15. 15. Perfect. When you get these two uh, attacks in, you see the fire sheen burst out and cause a flash of fire that causes all of the, um, the roots that were entangled around you to just burn and wither away. But instead of like leaving dredges of fire, they just turn to ash and just dis disappear. And as the sheen forms back, like pulls back in on itself, you see the uh, Lonely Coast eye that was looking at you has returned back into those of the 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 um, these uh, the the prisoners and uh, the the guards of Kasakawa, um, looking back at you. But the tear still remains, as the crack heals as if like a fire singeing upwards and like burning it cauterizing it almost and healing it as if nothing was nothing had happened to it 
you've dealt quite a bit of damage. Yep. And you I guess she has infinite amount of health. Uh, no, I guess not. Uh, who do I pass it to then? I can. You start again. It's your turn, I believe. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, because if you're at the top of the order, then you get that double the double swing thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I, I don't have to pick it to myself though. Yeah, you can pass it. Want to, right? Can but I will pick myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to specify. I just... Okay, I'm doing the same thing. That's uh, 18 to hit. That hits. That, that is 8 damage. Nice. Uh, and then my 2 weapon fighting bonus thing. 13 to hit. No. Nice. Dang. That's the one I like to hit more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hit that you're, extra 5. <laughs> you In the moment, you like you just, it's a flurry of blows slashing at nothing you in the faintest of feelings you get a flash of uh, Kasakawa fighting beside Rocky Randall and Moran I mean uh, Rocky um, I mean Moran Taya and uh, Kano all of you almost like in in this moment just slashing at Lonika for the briefest moment but like but when you flash back into reality you see it's you were swinging on each one of those, but you just envisioned um, your friends beside you in that one moment, um, trying mm. to um, cut away at this magic, um, this, this, um, ex not exorcism, sorry, this possession. <coughs> That's the word. Exorcism is the complete opposite. You guys are trying to exercise low in a really hack and slash kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they should have done in that movie. That would have helped. As the tide begins to form, mm. and you see it just come crashing back in. All right. And oh you see, God! Oh, no. You get con yeah you you get consumed again by the water. Uh, Rocky, I mean Randall, sorry. As the water <laughs> splashes into the waves, unlike the high tide um, redemption, the edges aren't dampened though. And fire damage deals normal damage. Uh, Kaz, I failed my intelligence. Yeah, no, yeah, that's great. So Thank you. Rocky's not restrained anymore. You are no longer restrained, my lad. Dick. You are free. Go be. I want to. I'm joking. For my movement, then, I want to run over to where a, a lo fi boy is. Go ahead. You will have attack of opportunity from Lonika. <laughs> like <that. laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Go ahead, Lo. Can I? Can I do this? You can. I also forgot. Oh. Randall, Randall's the one with uh, the D6 mines, doesn't he? Yes. yes. I have the D6 mines right now. Yeah. I'll put a zero on that for you. Just remember. Yep. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that hit. It's. Uh... What uh, does no, Lonico no what? poor touch? I guess what? he's clothes. If he's, he's going past yeah. me. Is there ah. any specific part of his clothing? Or? Um, I mean, she's on all fours, so I guess it would be like um, his coat. Mm -hmm. Or Howry, whichever one he's wearing. Wait, um, uh. Damn your camera. Roll damage for me, uh, Lonico. Okay. Uh, As. Six plus three. Oh no. Okay. That's it? Eight? Uh, 2d6 plus three. Okay. Uh, it's 11. 11. As Rocky, you run past low. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I'm your, on the low. Uh, you're on. Uh, your a picker, not your low fi wood face, my lad. Oh, sorry, sorry, thanks. No worries. Um, you, you feel like a low knee cause, like one, like you see her hand isn't her hand; it's her paw. It, it's taking the form of a paw, uh, with the fiery sheen uh, around her. And as it like just swipes at your harry, you see it slash at uh, the edge of it, causing it to fall off. Jo uh, Jojo, D six, please. And as it falls off. You see it become going from orange fire to white fire as it begins sprouting arms. <laughs> okay. 
give me a second as I just look at my sheet for something. As a Shabbaton takes form out of that fire. New friend. <laughs> ah, duh. <laughs> it just took my spot. <laughs> and anything else you want to do, uh, Rocky, on your turn after you make your way past Lonico? No, uh, I guess I, I need to take down the 11. No, it's already there. So oh, yeah, well, I've, already done. I've already done it. You're on 31 hit points. Well, yeah, it just doesn't update on my roll 20 right away, I guess. Yeah. So, whatever. Um, I guess that will be. I don't think there's anything else I could do. One second. I don't. Um, that's a bonus action thing. That's I already use that. I can I can walk along along this the the terrain without anything Sorry, without any difficulty. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Yep, uh, that's the end of my turn. I'm gonna pass it to a uh, low five boy. Low five boy? Oh, I'm so stupid. Low five boy. I'm the dumbest person alive. Dang it. Well, it's too late now, but. No, 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 no. no, no. Right. Well, then, no, it, this is something that happened. I, I just, I realized I have inspiration. I could have used that earlier, but, uh. Oh. <laughs> but it's right. it's too late now. Like, it's, it's what it is. Okay, yeah, that, that is too late. When you say that, she turns. And you see the fires waver for a hot minute. And the both fires die and you see one eye like the night sky and the other like her normal eye um, staring back at you. So one, so it's almost like one like the like um sunset sunrise uh sunset nighttime but then taking on that ghastly green once more as she shrieks at you and all i'm gonna say yuki for being so good at fishing you're pretty bad at taking care of little nico <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of this. Here's your. Uh, I... Okay, um, as a bonus action, I will exit rage. Mm hmm. Um, and I'll use the, uh, for the Shatter Shiseki Stone, mm -hmm. what level do I cast it at? It's at the base level, so level two. Okay. Where are you casting? Uh, it's a ten feet, uh, I don't have the description anywhere, uh, but is it like a ten feet radius where yeah, I cast Yeah, ten feet it? radius here. Okay, thank you. Because I'd like to basically do it like in the water, mm -hmm. uh, to to basically get all the the yokai, but not the randomal. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. And basically, um, if their heads are popping out, I'm aiming outside of the water, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. There's essentially no way you could cast it without get without get, with, getting all them. them. Yeah, you're gonna get to your good enough. Yeah, yeah. So you see the water 
Randall, you feel the ground shake as Lo-Fi Boy, you pull out um, the sh- uh, this uh, blue-black Shiseki stone that ripples, and as you wave it, you feel it from in- you feel it crack internally of glass, but its form stays as is. Um, but you see in the water it just erupts as like debris and just driftwood and sand go flying everywhere as the water uh, water shoots upwards and the Shabbaton just get knocked by um, countless amount of debris. Uh, Gain 14, they take 10 damage, completely just popping two of them and they just erupt into white fire under the water that like washes over you Randall as you are um, as you're trying to catch uh, your air, or oh, your you, you, your head's over the water, you don't you aren't struggling with that. Thank you, little fly boy. <laughs> we have to do something soon, but uh, I I didn't realize I was so focused on one Nico. I, I am in a bit of a situation, uh, but I, I I let you take. Wait, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, Randall, just do something, whatever, go! <laughs> oh god, man, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I, okay, quick question with disengage, situation, cunning action, uh, take a bonus action, disengage, pretty much, I'm, can I get over him and... Yeah. And still, I still do things afterwards, right? Yeah, you have bonus, just bonus action. So okay, action perfect. Still. I'm gonna like turn uh, to these two, to Lonico and the and the Suiko, and Lonico shoot snarling. my. Uh, I'm sorry for this, Lonico. I hope this doesn't affect you too much. And I bleh, and I just <coughs> shoot out my uh, necrotic, like like viscous, like death goo in your direction. Mm-hmm. A 15 foot cone, I believe. Yes. That will get both the Suiko and as like it like seeps over the uh, the rock and onto into the water. Uh, could Lonico roll me a deck save? And Randall, could you roll me a one d six? I can do that. Wait, did it happen? Oh, yeah, the five. Sorry, five. Five, yeah. So, so. Okay. The Suiko, the Suiko, you just see amongst all the black fire and uh, just ichor, you see white fire just lash out and try to like climb up it and just distort and glitch as it's trying to like just take form and just disintegrate into nothingness. <gasps> that one's gone. That Shabbat and that was in the water. The black ichor's from um, Randall's uh, magic. I mean Randall's breath. No, yeah, no, my, no, my necrotic surprised. breath. Oh. No, exactly. That's why I'm surprised. I, whoa. Well, oh, Nico. I, I, like, wipe my mouth from, of it. Sorry, yeah, that's, that's something I do. <laughs> yeah. Just give me a second. As... Because <laughs> I, I, I can. <laughs> Lo, you... Your fire, just your tails curl in on you. Uh, try to burn away at most of the necrotic energy, but the some of it does pierce through and melts away at the fiery sheen, dealing only half damage. Yeah, which I think would be eight with my logic. I think eight or is uh, sorry, so 70 minus five that's 12, so six only six damage. Oh, okay. oh gosh, no, not that. <laughs> Oh gosh, no! Because I gave it just seven health in that moment. <laughs> it is. Uh, oh yeah, and then I will pass it to, because it has been Rocky, then Lofi Boy, then me. Is that? Uh-huh. Yeah, Lofi Boy's had his turn. Yeah. Rocky's had his turn, and you. Then I will give it to Lonika. <laughs> Lo, it's your turn. Hi. Um. Well, this is a fun little group of people <laughs> and things. I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm really bad at fucking cones. Um, yeah. If I yeah. do it from here. Yeah. Yeah. That... Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what it's gonna be. You I'm know, honest. honestly, <laughs> in hindsight, pretty bad idea. <laughs> you're, you're like, ah, I would do a code. Oh, it's a good idea. <laughs> I should do But that. honestly, like, I think, because I just wanted to be over here to help Lo Fi Boy. <laughs> so I'm kind of doing that. I'm, I'm shielding potentially. Could uh, Rocky, Randall, and Lo Fi Boy roll me a deck save? What? You can't. Could deck Rocky save? Yeah. yeah. As, you, as your f fire takes on this white and green uh, oh, no. form of like dancing foxes that just charge at the pie and consume even the shabatan the shabatan wreaths itself in the fire while the kappa in this moment is terrified and it wants to run away from it and randall lo-fi boy and rocky i'm sorry i'm so you sorry <laughs> you all take 13 damage as lo-fi boy you collapse no Oh, not again! As an no. Nico, why would you do this? And like the fire just like, takes over you, and you just hear the smash as uh, Rocky uh, Lofago hits the ground. Um, and you see his uh, plants all charred black as ash falls out of his insides. Um, the Kappa is terrified. Anything else, Lonika? Um... <laughs> Apart from the feeling the healer inside me is dying. Um... <laughs> might make myself cry, it's fine, but... Um... <laughs> I'll give disadvantage on, well, bardic sadness um, yeah. <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to, to rant again. Okay. Wait, do, how did, because I, I, I still have your, my I, I, put, I? I put it on your damage. Oh, you put on my damage, yeah. gotcha. Oh, you're sly. <laughs> what can I say? You're mean. <laughs> what can I say? I feel like yeah, like this says fire. enough. Like for the like your reunion session, fight Lo Nico. <laughs> fight Lo Nico. Lo Fi Boy is gonna die. God Originally, damn it! It's gonna be when I actually when I first became a shaman. <laughs> so basically, basically when you're saying next session is elite Lo Nico. Because you're all dead. <laughs> you really meant it. Yes. Um, who do you want to pass your turn to? Satoshi and the yokai haven't had a turn yet. I'll give it to Satoshi. Satoshi, God you can't see in the black clouds, but you hear the sound of thunder just crackle from within as they cast Thunder Wave at second level. Mm, no, they're not going to. No, but they will. I think it's, it's, it's better for them. Yeah, they're going to cast Thunder Wave at second level. Um... And being in the thundercloud that the Nui have, it does maximum damage. No, oh, it doesn't, sorry. Let me just confirm what it does. I'm pretty sure it did maximum damage, but like I just want to make sure. Oh, double damage, so never mind, it's even better. And they don't have resistance. So you guys just see, hear the sound of thunder crackle and lightning zap out as the clouds peter and die down. And you see Satoshi smoking in uh, his uh oh sorry their their uh, their body covered in this smoke and just singed um and just singed as like the smoke steams upwards up from them they look to be exhausted in that moment as they're just watching everything happen around them in a panic seeing lo-fi uh seeing lo-fi boy hit the ground you see them dive into the water And I'm just gonna check something. And I am going to Sorry, I just need to check something. But yeah. Um 
they are going to finish their turn there, um, and they're going to pass it over to the yokai, and the yokai will have a double turn, as the kappa is going to focus on you, Rocky. Actually, no, it's not. Okay. No, it is. Even better. <laughs> oh, dang. All right. It's going to peck at you and then slash you with his claws. Yep, yep. Both those hit. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, oh, that's uh, the... That yep, is... That... Yep. Rocky drops as the cat <laughs> uh, just smashes into him with its body. And the Shabbatans, seeing this all happen, is like, yeah! Ah! And then just goes to smash at you, uh, Randall, with its club. Uh oh. You hear it, it's making a very misses. distorted, glitchy noise as it completely whiffs its attack. Passing its turn to the Kappa seeing Satoshi begin to start swimming it makes its way down into the water and goes to attack at them oh man <clears throat> can't believe we're all gonna die on our first <laughs> back <laughs> And it is now the Shaban's turn. The Shaban's gonna once again gonna try get attack you, uh, Randall. Completely whipping its attack, breaking its club. It no longer has a weapon. And as just give me a moment. And as Randall, you see Rocky and Lone Nico get dropped down. You see Lone Nico stare at you in this fox-like form. I, I told you all that this was going to happen if I joined you. <laughs> Not on the first day. It is your turn, Lonely Girl. Oh god. <laughs> I guess I'll try and do a multi attack on rounds because they go really well. Um. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay, both those miss. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Low, who do you want to pass your turn? Oh my god. Randall, Rocky, <laughs> Low Flight, or Satoshi? I'll give it to Satoshi. As this is all happening, uh, Randall, as she is attacking, you see her eyes, uh, the hollows of her eyes begin to leak as her form takes back on that red an orange fire as she as you see the her eyes turn to the night instead of being one night sky one golden or like it's the thousand stranger eyes you see just the night sky look back at you but not the same night sky as above it is who did you want to pass your turn to sorry satoshi satoshi Taking the attack of opportunity is going to leap out of the water towards a rocky, stabilizing them mm. and seeing Lonico get for like terrifyingly close to um to Randall. He casts a 
Hey, so people in chat, I just want to point out that there are some things where you can heal us, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would really like that right now because holy shit, am I ever scared? <laughs> I am. Many things I could do to make it worse. I thought that we were gonna have a nice beach episode. Maybe some ACU units were gonna show up and we'd like kick their ass or something. I don't know. Whoa! I woke up and chose violence. <laughs> oh boy! You woke oh, up and chose tears. I did. I chose both. Thank you. Thank you, Robo. <laughs> oh, Robo. You see a tiny little. You see. I see. You see. Uh, this isn't Satoshi. Give me a second. There you go. As you see Satoshi leap out of the water, you see, un, un like a off, leaping off of him is a tiny water spirit that makes its way towards you, Randall. And upon touching you, Rovel, could you roll me a d10, please? Oh man, Rovel, thank you for the save. I mean, like other people could use it for sure, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know how it works on dead people. It would carry. It would. It would heal. Him. Okay. Um, you see when um. Stabilizing uh, Randall, uh, Rocky onto one. Uh, you, oh not one, sorry. Um, what do you say? Do I, oh, they didn't, I didn't give him health potions. Yeah, they just bring Rocky back up to like one hit point essentially. They cast yeah. Gust on Lonely Co. Roll a strength save, please. <laughs> failing as Satoshi just leaps out of the water blasting a ball of air towards Loniko you your body gets thrown into the water as you hear as you hear her s the water boil and in that area just is steaming and erupting with air bubbles forming as you can see the water around that side of the um, begin to burn and even evaporate. Like, it's creating a divot in the water in this area where Lonico's form is. And you just see her fro just covered in water. Her flames diminished. She is dampened, but she still burns. Well, that, that my plan earlier was going to fail, then. Good thing <laughs> that didn't really work out. It is. You take, you get five hit points, Randall. Whoa. Oh, okay. Jeez. Don't. Okay. I thought that was actual art for a second. You scared me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like when, when I have Holy. actual art, like you worry. It's, it's panic. And Satoshi is going to pass their turn. Two. <laughs> I don't know what to do either. Uh, it's a lot of Who's been this turn? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Grasping at, like, my... My hand towards my chest. Uh, towards my... Wild Magic Shiseki stall. Mm -hmm. I kind of muttered to myself, like, Come on, like... Don't give up on me. Well, not you do I have, have a to save dragon. Lonico. You succeed. What do you want to do? And, and with the other hand, I point at Lonico and I say, I'm coming for you. Just you <laughs> wait. <laughs> you see her like pull herself out of the water Ooh. and she turns. You see your, your eyes are level as she's walking out of the water. Going from the night sky, they shift back to her normal eyes as her mask is cracking. Oh, oh no, Rovo. What's happening? I pass my turn to. Pick somewhere uh, within 30 feet. Wow. Lonico for me. 
uh, while uh, within 30 feet. Yeah. I pass it to I don't know, man. Like Rocky, Rock, yeah. I pass it to Rocky because like I'm just in and out of consciousness. Rocky's the first one I see. I just do it. All right. Well. uh... Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start out by using my uh, my second wind. Which allows me to do 1d10 plus fire level HP to myself. Uh, That's four, I believe. Uh, uh, 1d10. Wait, what did you say, guys? That will be four, I believe. Yeah, four. Uh, so it's two plus four, six. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at seven, guys. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and guess. I guess attack Lonico. I mean, can I? You can. He's not. This the uh, the duck dude's not focused on me right now, no, right? On He's on focus on cool. Six. I don't have to deal with that. So I I I I'll go over to I've got to roll the damage. close enough to Lonico. Huh? I've got to roll the damage of uh, the Kappa. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do my my, my two handed fight. Go ahead. Swing with two handed. Uh, 22 hit, I, I assume. Sure hope so. Uh, eight damage! <laughs> mm -hmm. Still up? Yep. <laughs> How's she looking? <laughs> Roll inside. <laughs> or Arcana. As you are. Uh, as you make your way to Lonika, you see her tail just send off a shoot of fire that bursts. One Sick. into a spider yokai <laughs> that forms. You oh. have no clue what's going on. <laughs> Yay! Uh. Um. Cool. I cry a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna use more of my movement. No, she'll get an opportunity attack. Ah, uh, wait. I guess that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna pass it to so Lofi's gone. Yeah, Satoshi's gone, Loniko's gone, and the Yokai have gone. Randall's last. Okay, then Randall it is. You got this, Randall. Save us all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to hear that, man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna like just pivot strike this one. Oh no! Wait, do I want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to disengage thing and run over here from that guy and also swing at Lonico. Go ahead. But very casually, like I don't want to hurt you that much, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I would like to also know, when you slashed, you... God! You, uh, yeah, uh, Randall, you sadly aren't able to get into it. Plus, you would have, uh, you do lose your uh, bardic abjugation. Um, I want to know you. Oh, that would have even guys. screwed me shot yeah. like even worse. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys, when uh, um, like random, when you go to hit uh, slash at Lonico, you see her sheen almost form like a thick shield that catches your um, like a hand erupts out of it and catches your short sword, and then push you off it. Uh, while Rocky, when you were slashing her, you cut into um, the sheen and. No, you do. You don't touch low Nico, but you do see one eye wince in that moment. All right. All right. Uh, I will pass my turn then, I guess. To okay, so who's left, low Nico, and the and the enemies? Yeah, low and as that's happening, as you cut off uh, some of the the machine, you see a spirit waft off of Lonico's sheen and make its way towards you and form around you and become give you a transpiration. And you you recognize the energy of this uh, this this fire spirit that you and you just hear a shriek from it. A feral Janasi shriek. Awesome. Alright. Um, and wait, that was the end of the turn order, right? Randall's the last one? Yeah. 
So we're okay. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can, I, go again, I can go again. Or... Okay, I'll go again then for sure, yeah. Afterwards, send it to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's crazy. <laughs> Dang, strange how the wind does Oh! It's like my... right there on the 19. Oh, no! God. It you doesn't get... even look like it landed or anything. Yeah, like you don't do anything. It glitched. When... Oh, shit. Dud roll. Can I get a reroll? <laughs> it landed on 16 on 1. Oh, man. That sucks, dude. Uh, it's when, all good. When you go to slash it again, the hand is still there. And when you go to, like, go for a slash, it just pushes you again. But this time with more force and pushing you into the Juroguma. And it catches you. <laughs> oh no. Oh my. Okay, well, Rocky finished the job! <laughs> and that's my job. health action. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm attacking. You have three uh... advantages in this moment. Oh my god. <laughs> that's two, right? How do I you have, have three? two default advantages with Rocky, uh, Randall's. Uh, Randall's uh, okay. First. Wait, wait, wait. In that case. Can I yell to Lo-Fi Boy to live yep. and give him advantage on a death save? Is that a thing? You can. Live, Lo-Fi Boy, live! Yes, All right. Satoshi shouts, live! Okay. Do that. Randall, you're not a curse! First attack, uh, nice. 23 hits. I need you to live for me, Lo-Fi Boy. I can't Seven, handle that's that 12 loss. damage. 12 damage. Mm -hmm. uh, my bonus attack. Hits. 21 hits. Whoa, I don't even need you for inspiration now. <laughs> Great. Uh, that is oh, wow. that 13 damage. Total 25 that round. How's she looking? As, <laughs> as you see around you, the tide begin to pull in. Oh, pull out, sorry. Let me just do this. Big difference. <laughs> <laughs> you see... You... With the high ground, you're just slashing down at her. Surrounded by yokai and your allies, either captured in dire straits or on their fucking death saves, you're just hoping with all your might that you can somehow fight or help Lonely Kazoogus <laughs> and pull her through. Slashing at her, you are cutting at the veneer, shredding it like paper. And as it's falling okay. off, um, it turns to ash and it is burning away and then you see her eyes shift as fire erupts from both of them as her form shifting between colors we finally got to third base shifting, <laughs> what? <laughs> shifting between colors the fire turns white hot oh, and man. causing a wave of fire to lash out over everything and blinding you immediately before it even touches you, Rocky. Before you feel the heat, before you feel anything, you feel this, you, you are immediately blinded. Lo-Fi Boy, blind. Rocky Randall, blind. Lo-Fi Boy's dead. <laughs> He's, he's trying, he's doing his darndest to look. He's blind though. <laughs> blinded by the darkness. Yeah, exactly. He had blinded by death's though. veil. <laughs> but, um, and as soon as the heat hits you, you get, you feel your body hit the floor. And you just hear around you. Hit the floor. Then you, the body's hit the floor. You just hit me. You hear corruption forming all over, all around you and all over you. And just forming into more yokai pulling themselves out of the void and grasping onto you you feel your body uh. hit the floor uh. <laughs> and we're gonna end the session there oh my god uh. <laughs> yeah that's that's cool <laughs> that's really awesome <laughs> i'm gonna do the music uh, to the morning of Casa Cove. Aha! Uh -huh. So yeah, that's uh, thank. Welcome back, everyone, to Jail. Oh, not Jailhouse Rocky. Sorry, throw on the top. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to come back. I've changed my mind. Rewind. That sucked.
I'm just kidding. It was like, it was saying, amazing. Like, my heart was saying. I love it so much. I was actually, that was amazing. It still sucks because we're not you. out of the thick of it yet. <laughs> I'm sorry I spawned more yokai. I thought it was going to spawn something legitimately No, helpful. exactly. That's, that's you know, real good. That's literally what has happened so many times on Aurora where it's like, I, I'm bringing in the guards. It's like, no, this is no. not a campaign where guards are good. <laughs> this is not a helpful guard campaign. Yeah, we're gonna. Actually, oh. no, yeah, no, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end the session. I was gonna like try and retcon something for a second, a rewind, but no, oh, yeah, that's that is where the session ends. Thank you guys for being here. Thank chat. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you guys for thank watching. You, My players, thank you for being here. Thank you for being stars. Thank you for I hosting this. Holy. Yeah. Thank you, and I, I love you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I love you too, yeah. but Jesus. <laughs> you know, I didn't think it was going to be like this much. It's funny, because I could be doing even more. I know. <laughs> oh, uh, man. We just changed. So... So yeah, like never mind. Actually, that might be a spoiler. Never mind. What you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna say? I was gonna, say, I was gonna pitch something, but I don't want because I don't want to even give anyone any ideas. Cause... Right, no, no, send, right. send me a message. Send me a message. I wanna know. I wanna, I wanna know these spoilers. But yes, thank you, Rob, for the hydrate. Thank you for being here and interacting with the session and adding some uh, some extra chaos. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're excited for the rest of season two because I am very excited for what we've got planned. How are you guys finding this so far? How, how are you feeling now for the premiere session? What's, what, I'm what scared are... to death. If that's the premiere of this, <laughs> of where we're going in this season, then god damn. I mean, I had a great time apart from the fear of actually killing people. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, the fear. <laughs> I was like, wait, no. <laughs> No, I didn't mean to do No, no, go back, go back! I do. But with that, I'm going to quickly look for someone to raid. Um, would you guys be able to sh shout yourselves out? Tell us about, tell, tell, tell the people about yourselves. And if you guys remember your commands. Could you just put those in while you're doing them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So first of all, uh, Sam. Yeah, uh, I'm over at McClunky Squadron. We, uh... Is it just McCl yeah okay uh i'm over at mcclunky squadron we do D, D as well over there on fridays we host a horror theme campaign the terrifying territories of roro kaz plays a bisexual frog in that game uh i didn't say a specific thing uh but yeah uh it's a fun campaign very fun uh we also do talk shows about recent stuff like marvel tv shows and star wars stuff and gaming so yeah that's us over at mcclunky squadron mm-hmm I pass it on to uh, to Jacob. Hey guys, it's me, as Jacob. As initiative. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> aka uh, aka Rocky. Um, I uh, do two things at the moment. Uh, first one is I run a podcast called Just Very Mundane, where me and my uh, my good friend Sagar we talk about just very mundane things and just very mundane ways. Uh, it's an advice podcast as well as just an opinion podcast. Uh, I also run am working on slash have made. A card game called uh, All Hail the Goblin King. Um, just working on building up support for the game right now to eventually fund it. Um, so if you like strategy card games, if you like goblins and fun art uh, and want to see that a reality, please go check out the Instagram and hopefully drop a follow if that tickles your fancy, I guess. That reminds um, me, uh, Jacob, after the session, um, let me remind me to um, send you a... Uh, to, like to set the Goblin King command uh, and add the uh, add to the um, the sponsor okay. reel. Sick. Okay. Um, and that's everything I do. Um, I also am currently a year and a half strong without streaming. Uh, so you can go check out my Twitch. Go <laughs> 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 <Good> link it. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and pass it to... Uh... Nah, I'm mad at Lonico. I'm going to pass it to Lonico. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. I also do two things, which is playing this game and thinking about playing this game. Uh, <laughs> and when I'm doing either or, you'll find me on Discord, most often in the vibe in. And I, I really look forward to doing 
toward the whole staying a uh, few art nights uh, that will be coming along in the future. But right now I'm recovering because uh, uh, oh, yeah. my back and my character are both in the same state. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But other than that... On uh, its second death save. Yeah. <laughs> but like, so far, uh, in all situations, I've only known a bit of success. And things are looking good, even if they're a bit bleak. And so, yeah, uh, to the one that broke my back, I need to, uh, <laughs> the one that, like, killed my character, I mean, just, <laughs> Georgia, take the stage. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, hi guys, I'm Georgia, I'm Lone Eco, and I'm usually a lot nicer than this. Um, I promise. Uh, <laughs> I make jewelry, and I draw art and stuff um you know yeah i mean sorry guys i i mean i don't want y'all to die <laughs> do you do i, I never live with the guilt <laughs> you you've played as you've played yourself and um, <laughs> anyways like in such a fabulous way that like i it's been one of the best fights of my life <laughs> it was a very fun encounter. I had a great time. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna. That's everything. I'm just gonna quickly shout out one thing our dice sponsor, uh, diceroll.uk. Uh, they produce some wonderful, cheap, and pretty dice. I got some for Sam. Uh, Sam and AJ and uh, Sam. <laughs> Thank you, Robo. Um, over on um, when, when I went to Canada. They're gorgeous. Um, and if you are also looking for some cheap and stunning dice, I highly recommend go, go checking them out because they, they produce some wonderful stuff. Carlos is fabulous. Actually, it's funny enough because we did the fishing mechanic today and like that's how they found us. Um, but if you... <laughs> If you do want to uh, grab some dice and uh, get some from Diceroll.uk, uh, please use the link Diceroll.uk slash CasaDM because that helps support the stream and goes a long way for us and it supports a lot of the stuff we do here. And if you've enjoyed the art, you've enjoyed my content and you want to uh, see more of the stuff I do, I normally stream art. And if you're new here and you came from the raid or you're just lurking and hanging out, hit the little follow button, the little notification bell and get reminded when we next go live. We'll be back with Throne Attack Throne Attack. Throne atop sands <laughs> on the 9th of October. Um, no, not 9th, sorry. 16th of Wait, hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, 16th of October. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, we'll be back on the 16th of October with a very special uh, session of Throne Top Sands. Uh, it's still the trial by fire. Uh, and um, hopefully we'll see you for part two of that. Um, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's what it was. My arts is here and if you want to get some of my tokens i'm going to be adding the suiko and the greater shabbat i think or the new way uh at the end of the week um and we're going to raid into game of mom luna so here's a little raid message and before we go i'm going to put on the op one last time and we're gonna um we're gonna raid in on that oh uh before we finish actually um does lo-fi trust randall in the end <laughs> yes, of course, more than Lonico, <laughs> perhaps. But... Yeah, really, bro. <laughs> like, but no, still, like, and I still trust Lonico because this this is a monster. This isn't Lonico. You get your soul sucked into the void, you get mm. possessed. And this is the thanks I get. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, guys. Yeah, yeah, you 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 you, you gained yeah. You, you won your bets, and I have your 9.2k. I don't know if that's 9.2k for everyone, or it's just 9.2k like goes to. I don't know how it works. Um, yes, <laughs> I put the raid Divided in. Divided by. Let's sort the raid. Yeah, see you guys soon. Thank you guys for stopping by. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. We shall. Thank oh, you. I forgot the Discord. Oh. <gasps> you fool. Yeah, join the Discord. That's where we always are. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, if when I'm doing art, or maybe when we're next week going up sands. See you then. Bye. 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 Bye.
Need to get unstuck, so cough. When you rock against the wall and you cannot fall, so cough.